Hey, man. Hey, what's up, man? How you doing? How you doing? I'm doing pretty damn good. Oh, that's good. Good to hear. Make a little coffee. Yeah, I got. I'm gonna. I'm gonna grab a cup. I got it brewing right now. I'll be right back. Nice. All right. Hey Rig, what's up? Smiley. Hey, I'm back. Hey, welcome back. So yeah, I was working on Mac. <laughs> working on Mac. Yeah, still, I'm still messing with the body, man. It's like still, I, uh, I, I made the legs like deeper, and then I, I'm changing other things and these things, and then I'm, I'm trying to get the head right, and that, and the heads. The head's got to be right, and I'm not sure what right is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's 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 different, man. It's a different beast, definitely. What's going on, guys? Excalibur here, and we are back with another Anvil Reforge Eden community server co-op let's play with Jay Randall. What's up, man? Hey, man. How's it going? Good, good, good. So I think... um. We doing today? We're 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 building. Oh God! Oh right, the server is down. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we're um we're preparing for planetary assault, right? I think so. Yeah, we, we want to keep on saving up some resources, and and uh, and and hopefully about a w a week or maybe a little less. Mm -hmm. I I might have that 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 carrier ready. To like bring in so but that's gonna that's gonna need a lot of carbon substrate <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, but i mean i mean m maybe the whole material will will switch too so i i don't know I, that, that that's for like a testing time uh, yeah, yeah let me let me know man because definitely i want to dedicate a stream to just like doing some good testing with it um yeah let me know when you got it to where you think it's we're able to kind of fly it around and add stuff to it and we could test it out yeah, well, actually, uh, right before the stream, too, uh, I got a different blueprint from Alyssa of, uh, like, a really updated storage thing that, like, matches the ship and the, with the contour and the coloring and, like, oh. really detailed. And, uh, yeah, I haven't, I haven't seen that yet. Nice. Nice. Very cool. For those that don't know, there is a uh, channel now in Discord called J. Randall's Studio, and... Uh, yeah, you can um, you can check out that if you're interested in uh, contributing and uh, working on a pod or something. All that stuff is there. Open to uh, ambassadors. So any any ambassador of the Anvil, you guys have access to that channel. Cool. All right, let me grab this coffee real quick before we start while the server's coming up. Give me one sec. All right.
Hey, if you're around too, the uh, the server is up. Alright, I'm back. What's up? Quick, quick story, right? So the the internet company came um, yesterday to install fiber, and I was super excited, right? Oh yeah. And but but the the pipe that has the uh, cables coming into the uh, into the house is completely just completely fucked basically right? <laughs> so <laughs> so back in the day we had we had uh, cable right coax cable so okay. instead of splitting the cable outside and then bringing one line inside to where you know you would split it inside if you want to go to different rooms they shoved three coax cables into this little three quarter inch pipe and oh. now it's like you can't get them out it's in, it doesn't budge so we're oh like, geez we're pouring soapy water in there we're doing all this shit and i can't get these lines out so my landlord's here helping me out and i keep telling him i'm live but he i don't think he understands what that means so <laughs> so there, there's, there's a chance I might like have to pop up for a second and you know just so just so you know that you're alive. What do you mean you're alive? Yeah, of course I, you're alive. You're right there. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. Get to right. work. <laughs> right, right. Yeah, I don't, I don't think he gets it. So. <laughs> All right, J Cam is up, guys. What's going on? What's up, Annie? Yeah, we're getting we're getting J Cam. We 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 got our stuff all the way together, guys. Don't worry about it. <laughs> are you are you in? Cause I'm not seeing. What is that that I'm looking at? It's weird. What is that? Oh, I guess that is. Yeah. yeah. So, oh. Okay. There we go. Weird. What? Oh. Move around in the game. Know. Yeah. See, I'm moving. Yeah. Why does it do Come that? On. It's so weird. Like sometimes it'll just freeze, and I have to. I have to be. Oh, you know what I'm seeing? I get it. Huh. I can't minimize Discord. Because when I minimize Discord, it freezes that. Oh. So I have to have I have to have it maximized. As long, but you know, OBS is in front of it, so it's fine. But I just can't minimize it. All right, oh, enough. okay. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, I'm just randomly flying around the hangar of the ship, crafting stuff, waiting. It's so relaxing, you know. <laughs> <laughs> If I only had a farm. <laughs> if you only had a farm. <laughs> Actually, I, I, I think I got stuff around for that somewhere here. Ooh, are you, you going to plant your farm? Oh, wow. Well, I got to get the I got to get to where the grow plots and stuff are. I used to have them on here. I was going to do that. And then I took them off here. No, I think I lost on my cargo. But I think I got grow plots back at just replacement minor back back at the station <laughs> ah. and speaking of where are we <laughs> right oh somewhere somewhere oh are we somewhere yeah we're somewhere i think i forget where I'm we are so, i'm at uh m-a-s-t-e or mass techie a <laughs> oh i guess wow i'm back at Back at home. Are you? Okay. Yeah, back at well, yeah. I'm not. I'm not at the actual space station, but I'm at the sun. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Got to figure out which way that is. Man, if I could get fiber though, oh my god. Fiber? It would yeah. be so much better. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Probably uh, steady and consistent. And and fast, of course, too. Yeah, totally. Uh, I don't know where El Donk is. I think I think um I think he's gonna be late coming to the stream for a little while just because I think they're all still quarantined and home so I think his wife uses the computer for work or something so
Ouais. It just got weird. Yeah. Yeah, I'm I'm at I'm so confused right now. I'm back home. Right. But there's a random Creel shade out here. In the same orbit. Oh. I might be able to explain that. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. Well, okay. It was a couple streams ago remember when i was lost in space um yeah yeah, yeah but because i was warped out of the uh the event oh i think i know yeah i think and, I and so, so so i i i used the sector command right but i didn't i did not know the command to um like teleport to a uh, another planet like in that system I, I was trying to figure it out, and I was like, "Oh, screw it! I'm I'm already in God mode right now while I'm doing this." So I I just spawned something that I knew worked in Reforge that that could warp, <laughs> and then I warped, and then I was just going to destroy it, right? Right. And then I was like, "Oh, I can't destroy it! Crap!" <laughs> nice. <laughs> now there's a random abandoned Creel shade just floating in space. <laughs> <laughs> nice. The mirror is my lighting weird. I still haven't grabbed. I, I still haven't figured this lighting thing out. Dar Darkest Warrior was asking if uh, w wanted it uh, removed. Yes, please. Remove all Creel shades from the server. No, not all. There's still. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Just the one I in Shaytovna. No, not, oh, well, there's two in Satovna then. It's, uh, the, no. No, oh, that other one said uh, Hephaestus. Oh, you, you act like we're going to go back to Hephaestus at some point. <laughs> I love, well, it. I love it, how it, you're it, holding it, on to that. It, 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 it is very close to um, the the Anvil City, you know, the uh, the, the pair project, too. I, I heard oh, it is. Oh, no, it is. You're right. We do need to make our way back over there. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you're so, right. Um, we could we could hightail and go now, man. Let's screw it. I was well, I okay. So, I, don't, I don't even know how to navigate that far. <laughs> no, no. So get this, right? I was um, a little interesting story here, right? I went on to the uh, Imperion forums, right? Right. You know the the you know forums like nineteen yeah ninety yeah right shit right. So yeah, I went right, on there, right. okay. and I saw this random post where somebody was. You know, the only reason I saw it is because it flagged me because somebody tagged me in the thing, right? So somebody was using my spaith to repair another CV. And I'm like, wait, what? I, I was so confused. And I'm like, I, I still don't get it, but I guess maybe they're going to... Maybe that's experimental and maybe they're going to have CV to CV repairing. Ah, gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah, well, that, that is a thing. Um, you know, I was thinking of something, though, right? Mm -hmm. What if, what if you built this ultra micro little CV and it was like a quick spawn thing and all it had on it was a repair station and power and a console and like, you know, just, you just spawn it nearby, you repair your stuff, you trash it, you move on and, and you just like a quick spawn uh, or not a CV, I, I'm in a base. So it would actually be a base with a repair bay just mm -hmm. an ultra cheap thing and that's all it did you, you put it there real quick quick spawn and you, you, you fix all your stuff and then you just like leave it or zap it i mean it's it's disposable right so well i was just i was just say you know what do you what do you think what do you think of like a creation like that would that be practical yeah, I mean, to me, once, you know, if and when CV to CV repairs is a thing, then. Right, totally. right, yeah. But even like the Tugahawk, imagine the Tugahawk had a repair bay that could repair both our CVs wherever we go. Like, you know what I mean? Or the sled. Imagine right. the sled has a repair bay that could repair our CVs wherever the hell we go. Dude, it's game over, man. Like, I never need a base. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, we will no right. longer be tethered, which to me. 
that just makes shit really fun because it's like we could literally just we could constantly be exploring we could constantly right. be moving and 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 just docking wherever you know we feel like stopping we no longer right. have to like go back you know here you know for some whatever right like we're just we don't need to be here i mean the furnace would be the only other thing and you yeah. know i'm over it i don't i don't you know we could make a pod that just has the ability to uh refine and produce we don't need the furnaces so that, that's yeah. exciting yeah. Dude. if that becomes a thing if that's a thing in 1.4 i'm excited yeah no that 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 does sound really cool to me too because yeah uh, it, yeah i i mean that, that that is one thing that sucks so it's like with space stations or base um it's like yeah you want to go out i mean it's a big galaxy i mean tons mm -hmm. of places to go but you're kind of like i never want to go too far because you got to get you got to get back you know and if you bring your essentially your space station with you and you know and you can do like everything you need to do there is no going back you you always got your stuff <laughs> All right. So, good, 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 yeah, great for exploring, you know? No, totally. Actually, you know, I'm at, I'm at that place right next to us where the, uh, where we set up that, uh, station at, you know, the, uh, processing stuff. Oh, it's up. Oh, no. We left the woodcutters there. You're talking about, yeah. uh, Oh yeah, you're talking My, about that. Yeah. Yeah. So I was wondering. I'm there already. I'm wondering if I shouldn't just go over there and get some stuff and chop some trees. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. I wonder what it would have been like. Okay, so we're on episode 39 of this Let's Play. <laughs> if if it was only up to Jeff to to <laughs> decide what we do every stream, I wonder, man. I wonder what this stream would have been. I wonder oh, if it would not have been a bunch of tree cutting, mining, <laughs> um, random, you know, organizing streams. Like, I, I think that's more what it would be. I don't think we would have ever lost a ship. I don't think. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know. Painting and mining. <laughs> painting oh, and mining. man. Man. Uh, that's funny. Wait a minute. Yeah. Funny but accurate. Maybe maybe I'm not in the right place. I was thinking if I do not see that planet. <laughs> mm. Talon would be an extinct race. That's true. <laughs> he would have just <laughs> killed all the Talon. Oh, yeah. yeah. No more Talon. Oh, it had all their seeds and never planted them. <laughs> oh, I had them. <laughs> Alright, so the first thing I need to do is bring in my tank. I want to bring in one of these tanks. Oh, you got to bring in a tank. Nice. So, I'm being carbon. All right. I guess I'll just come back. Why did I think it was in this place? Was it in something else that was off from here?
Uh, uh. Moving around. <laughs> All right, you lost. Yeah, yeah. Nope, nope, nope. I'm not lost. Oh yeah. Just meandering. <laughs> yeah, no, that's fine. Meander away. Okay, so Legacy Homeworld, um, Interfector, Scorpion, K Bar, uh, new K Bar prototype, um, SVs. Uh, we're going to need at least a, two cartridges. Um, yeah. Yeah, no, yeah, I think that's fine. So I, mm, I'm debating if it makes sense to bring our CVs to the Legacy Homeworld. Now hear me out, right? If we just bring the tug of hawk and we put all the land vessels on there, I don't, you know what I mean? Like I don't see why we would be carrying our big ass CVs on the planet for to just sit there and not do anything. You know what I mean? Right. Well, it just seems is, yeah. it seems like an unnecessary danger, right? And then it's just more to carry, more to have to lift up whereas if we just load up the Tugahawk, you know, that opens all that space up top to add more land vehicles, cartridges and whatnot and then we can just go down there and campaign, right? Right. I I was thinking about, you know, bringing bringing the one CV though, the uh uh Interfector. <laughs> no, no, yeah, no, I, I totally agree with that. But that's that's but, that's the first thing I said was the Interfector. But oh, oh yeah, I missed it. Sorry. Beyond that, I don't I don't see the point of bringing the other ones. I mean, maybe the Conda is like a backup. I, I don't know. Maybe the Conda. That's small, right? So I, I, I don't yeah. I don't really see the point though. I guess if we get into shit in orbit, we'll have something. True. I don't know. So the other thing is ammo. We need we need a lot of HV ammo if we're gonna do this. Oh yeah, I didn't even think about making any yet. Alright, give me one sec, landlord's up here. One sec.
I bet. Hey. As what? What are they talking about in chat? Oh. Uh... Oh, about advanced quarter. What? What's an advanced core? Are you talking about the auxiliary? Uh, no. Well, I think there is uh, an advanced core in the game. I don't know if it's in Reforge, so I guess I have to read a little bit better here. Like an advanced core, I think, in vanilla was unlimited CPU. Oh, really? Yeah. Um, but it wasn't like, you know, like a game thing. It was like you had to play that way. Oh, it's a thing. They're saying it's a That's thing. Good. It gives you one million CPU. Oh. CPU. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Ever ever sit back and think what what you could do with like you know in, in Reforged here with like I don't know eight eight ten million CPU <laughs> with, with with a with like a, a ship. <laughs> well, I I started working on the Mandalorian again yesterday, and I put an obscene amount of turrets on it. Did you? Yeah. Oh, nice, nice. Yeah. So that's gonna be so, so that's gonna be a big time uh, uh, fighting ship then. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm making it, like, bigger than the Xyphos as far as player power and stuff. Oh, very cool. Very cool. I'm not sure what to do. I got bazillions of things to process. but And I'm doing it, and I'm building ammo and everything, so everything's good. But, yeah, I'm just like, uh... I did, I did, want, did want to build another 12 rocket turrets at some point, too. <laughs> Just, just because. <laughs> well, build what? I, I oh, need a well. There's yeah, eleven in the output, Jay. Uh, there's a what? There's eleven <laughs> in whetstone output. Oh, cool. Yeah, that's where I was. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, they're saying you haven't given them an update on the mech lately. Oh, I I, I was working on it. Um, oh man, I can't even hold them all there. Um, I was definitely working on it. It's yeah, it's it, it's close. I I'm reworking the head again on it. Um, I widened or deepened the legs and been just messing with the body a lot. Um. So, and, and, and the body's, like, done. It's just, I'm tweaking it. I'm making little changes, trying to improve parts of it at this point. So, that's that's about where it's at. I haven't started texturing it at all, or even looking at the interior. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, it's, uh, what, what, tomorrow's the last day, too, to, to, to get it? Yeah, I mean, you know, if, if you're, yeah. If it'll take you till Friday or whatever, that's fine. Just message me in Grumbledore. Gotcha. Uh, well, hopefully. Hopefully I'll get some time. Oh, and that's full too. Man, I am so full on this ship right now.
Welcome to XBC. Wilbert Farmer popping off five gift subs, dude. Thank you, sir. Welcome to XBC. Big hype for Filbert. Welcome to XBC. Hell yeah. Welcome to XBC, guys. Welcome to XBC. Get on the ground, sir. Welcome to XBC. It's a legend, man. That's awesome. For the uh yeah, that's 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 a good point for the ground vehicles and stuff. Welcome to XBC. Popping off more gift subs, dude. Filbert. Welcome to XBC. Oh shit, I took your. Whoops. I didn't mean to take your. Uh... <laughs> I have one of these now too, the Plutus, so I took your Plutus. Oh, oh, that's. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. My Plutus is better than yours. It is. It's got more blocks to it. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna put yours back. Oh, whatever. Mine's got a multi turret and. Oh yes, yes, yeah, it has that too. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. You you have the better Plutus. <laughs> yeah. It's okay. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go out there with a the color tool and give mine a flame job or something. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah. I, if anything, at least I parked it correctly, so taking it wasn't <laughs> a bad thing. <laughs> That's cool. That you said, so it's all straight on the uh, on, uh, on the pad now. It will. It will he, he's creating too much hype, <laughs> dude. <laughs> Filbert Farmer with a hundred gift subs wow. for the channel, wow. dude. In total, man, that's epic, bro. Uh, yeah, wow. That's that's yeah. That's very cool. Dragon the thirteenth, scorched six seven five. Welcome to the fold, guys. That's awesome, man. Hey man, you got any place to store stone? <laughs> nope. You could you could you could jettison that shit right now. You got you got all this room in reserve three though. It's got some stone in there already. You yeah, want any more? No. No. There's that Jeff Jeff's replacement miner thingy. Put it in there. Oh yeah. Yeah. yeah there you go. Just throw it in there. That's your, yeah. you know, keep a bunch of random shit C V that you could just put whatever you want in there. <laughs> Yeah, very true. It's gonna get a lot more stone. <laughs> uh, yeah, I got uh, yeah random random stuff in there. Oh, that's not even. It's gonna drive me nuts. Uh oh, my wife needs me to call and order my food. Hold on. All right. Welcome to XBC. Commando popping off a freaking five month resub, dude. Hell yeah. Big hype for Commando. I'm gonna order my dinner real quick, guys. Give me one sec. Hey, what's up, man? It's Matt. Hi, Matt. Hey, 
Kung Pao chicken, no peanuts, fried rice. Okay, okay. Alright, thanks, man. Yeah, I'm back. Yeah. Big hype for Commando. Present your order as a wrap. Be edgy. <laughs> No, it's really sad, dude. Like, where I live, like, all I gotta say is my name. Actually, I don't even have to say my name. Sometimes I call and they're like, oh, is this Matt? And I'm like, yeah. They're like, okay. And they hang up. <laughs> like, they don't even ask me what I want. They already know. It's it's really bad. <laughs> it's really bad. It's it's actually, like, horrible. Like, I, I feel... Welcome to XBC. Oh, jeez. Yeah, it's bad. <laughs> Commando popping off five gift subs, dude. The hype is real, man. G Man. Welcome to XB. Chappie. What's up, Chappie? Siege. What's up, Siege? Hell yeah, dude. Welcome to XBC. Welcome to On your XBC. way to 200. See, I'm not seeing these. See, this is what drives me nuts about Stream Elements is sometimes it gives me no data. Sometimes it gives me all the data. Right now, it's not giving me any data. Sometimes under your names, it'll tell me. Hmm. Dude, hype train. Hype train. Whoa. <laughs> what? All right, all the hype. the ground, sir. All the hype, guys. All the hype, JTKE gave it popping off 25 say. gift subs. Oh, neat. Target. Ha, I like your style. Wow. You make up your own rules, Damn. just like me. We just, we just, check this out. We, I guess maybe Stream Elements is backed up or something, but it started the hype train and it instantly went to level five. It wasn't dicking around. <laughs> it was like, wait, hold on. Hold my beer. I got this. Welcome to XBC. <laughs> oh, I, I blame it on my internet. Dude. The hype, man. JT, Welcome that is freaking XBC. awesome, sir. JTK Gaming's got something really special planned for the community. Um, coming very XBC. soon. Uh, announcements will be... Uh, I'll, I'll be announcing it in the uh, Discord. So you guys can check it out. Darkest Warrior popping off 10 gift subs to absolutely decimate the hype train. Wow. Welcome to XBC. <laughs> oh, coffee up. Coffee up, guys. Welcome to XBC. We need more levels. More levels. <laughs> Target acquired. Welcome to XBC. Dude, werewolf and what's up, man? How you been? Welcome to XBC. Cuffy Carcraft with the two month prime resub. Thank you, man. Welcome Wait, who is that? Care is that somebody related to Character Craft? Who's who's Cuffy? Who's Cuffy Carcraft? Carcraft. Welcome to Charcraft. <laughs> GLaDOS hype. Yes. Target acquired. Welcome to XBC. That's freaking epic, dude. That is seriously epic. Me and Rig together. Welcome to XBC. Co-host on the podcast. Nice, dude. Welcome. Again, a big shout out to freaking Character Craft, who's uh. Welcome helping us distribute the uh, the Tales of Anvil podcast. Jay, you know we have a podcast? Oh, you do? Dude, no. there's a Welcome podcast for the Anvil. Brought to oh, you wow. by Debon and uh, Fred Hophead. And you can check it out on Spotify. You can check Welcome it out on Apple Music. Say. You can check it out wherever you listen to podcasts. Very cool. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah. 
Like, you could just listen to it whenever. Like, you don't even have to be at your computer. No, that's a, that is slick. I've, uh, I've actually never, never done a podcast before. Or, <laughs> or, oh or seen Tara, you know what a podcast is, right? Well, yeah, I've heard the term. <laughs> no, 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 no. Because you didn't know what merch was. So, <laughs> tell me what a podcast is. What's a podcast? Well, uh, it's I don't know, like a like a video blog. <laughs> okay, I so guess? it's the exact opposite of that. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> so a video blog. Well, what's a video blog? That's somebody typing in video. So no, blog, no, I don't know, like some some video. I I guess you know. Do you remember back in the day um, they had radio stations and they would have like radio shows, like talk shows and stuff. That's basically what a podcast is, but you can listen to it at your leisure. So you can download it, uh, you can stream oh, it from anywhere, from Spotify, Apple Music, from from Google uh, Podcasts, whatever. And it's it's a big thing now. Like it's it's how I actually when I drive around all day at work, I'm listening to podcasts. So you know, I'm, there's there's lots of there's lots of cool podcasts and stuff. One of the one I listen to is um, this is not an ad, but uh, the Rewatchables. Which is on Spotify, and basically they uh, well, they go over old rewatchable saying. movies, and they go deep dive into like the movie and the actors, and and you know they go what what are the best scenes in the movie well, and everything, so stuff like that. It's fun. It's just it's an alternative way to kind of pass the time when you're you know commuting or whatever. Well, right. No. That's, that, yeah. That is very cool. Oh man, I forgot this whole ship is all screwed up. And I'm all modified in it. Hey, Dad, what's up? You, you just missed an epic hype train. Epic, epic hype train. Welcome that was awesome, dude. Say. Big shout out to uh, to JTK Gaming, Commando45, Darkest Warrior, Filbert Farmer. Freaking epic. Dude, JT popping off some bits to round it off. You guys are awesome, man. Thank you so much. Thanks for all the support, as always. Freaking amazing. Dude. That was a very productive 10 minutes, and I just kind of, like, sit here and looked at, uh... <laughs> I, I, I ordered dinner. Check this out. I ordered dinner. I, I'm crafting. We just had an epic hype train. I, 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 I plugged the podcast. All in, like, five minutes. And what did you do? What are you doing? Chopping trees? No. No, I was installing rocket turrets. Oh, okay. We'll see. You did some too. <laughs> Look at us. Look at us winning. Oh, you know what? You know what's going to piss me off? Oh, no. The deconstructors are off. So how come... How come I crafted some little guys? Oh, there they are. So why aren't they... Oh, hold on. No, where... Okay. Oh, Xyphos. I'm an idiot. All right. Got it. Oh. Got it. No. Ah, I got okay. it. You don't know what I'm talking about. Don't don't agree with me. Oh. You have no <laughs> You have no <laughs> idea what I'm talking about. You're just agreeing with me. Damn it. Uh, I, was, uh, I was trying to give you support. You no, know. you're too agreeable. You're far <laughs> too agreeable. Okay. All right. I'll, I'll, I'll change it up. <laughs> All right. Yeah, a little. You know, let's. I don't. Let's get into an argument. Let's. Let's get make it spicy, man. I mean, no, I, no. I, I don't want to get a damn argument. <laughs> What's wrong with you? <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. There we go. How how you like that for the drama? <laughs> yeah. No, that was pretty good, man. You really sold it. Yeah. Really sold it. <laughs> JT forever subscriber. Absolutely, man. We got we got a lot of forever subscribers, man. <laughs> Dude, I, I didn't even I haven't even said it yet. I was gonna wait till the designer challenge, but December was a huge uh, month uh, for subs, and January absolutely crushed December. And I, I'll, I'll tell you guys in the challenge stream, like, oh my god, it, Jesus, like it's it's insane, dude. The the subscriber count is is freaking insane. So big hype to to the anvil. Big hype to everybody. I'm, I, so, I, I'm gonna shave my beard at the end of the month. 
in, you're, you're uh, what? in honor in honor of the uh, of the subscriber count. I'm go I'm gonna completely shave my beard. Oh wow! Yeah, yeah. That's like ra radical, man. Yep. Uh, yeah. Wow. Well. No, no, I'm gonna completely shave the beard. I'm not gonna do it on stream though. I'm gonna completely shave it off and grow it back before the next stream. You think you can grow that much in a year? In 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 a day. What? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm gonna shave it after the stream. I'm gonna shave it, and then on the next stream, you guys are gonna see the same length of beard. Guaranteed. Uh. I'm not shaving my beard. That was, that was <laughs> a really bad way of saying it. I'm not gonna shave my beard. I can't shave my beard. My wife won't let me. Otherwise, I would have shaved it like six months ago. Cause oh, it, it, dude. There's nothing worse than waking up and your beard's in your eye. <laughs> like I've legit gotten scared out of my mind in the middle of the night thinking that something's on my face like some crazy <laughs> some crazy insect some crazy tropical bullfrog or something and it's my freaking beard <laughs> so that's why I braid it right but even when you braid it sometimes it bends up and then it's just this like even more substantial mass of hair yeah or spiders or something dude it's scary as hell man oh jeez oh I hate it yeah, yeah, I, 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 yeah, I never, uh, yeah, I, I, I'm not great with the whole facial hair growing thing, so mm. I, I mean, I, I got those little stubble is stubble. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I know, uh, like yesterday, I, I, I think I made, I, I feel bad because I think I made, uh, my, my daughter's boyfriend feel bad because he's trying to grow a little something, you know, he's young, right? He's trying to, he's really proud of his little thing he's got there, and I, I, <laughs> <laughs> I said something. I was like, "What did I say?" I said, "I said you gotta, you gotta keep shaving that 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 little thing you got going out there." He was like, "I'm like, if you don't shave it, it's gonna, it won't come in thicker, you know." And he, I, I think I made him feel bad. Oh, yeah, yeah. So now he's gonna shave it, and then yeah. No, that's good though. But yeah. that that's how it grows out. That's how it grows out. Oh, by the way, j just to let you know, I found those um, eight lost crew members. Did you? Um, yeah, yeah. The, I had them in my <laughs> the harvest controller. <laughs> ah. Yeah. Yeah. They don't. They don't need to run from aliens. They they can run from humans. <laughs> <laughs> hey, come on aboard here, right there into the harvest controller. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Uh, all right. Um. So. Okay, so I replaced uh, a bunch of turrets on the Interfector, right? Um, so, but the Interfector needs to be repaired yet. <laughs> right. But, 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 but my turret changes should stay. I didn't do any block things or anything to it. Right. So, yeah, now the question is, I thought I had Xeno too. I think I do somewhere. I need Xeno. Um, is, is, uh, the, uh, Zyphos, uh, all fixed up and and ready. Ready for what? Oh, uh, isn't it? Oh, it's 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 over the uh, repair bay. Oh, do you need the repair bay? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I mean, you're welcome to move the Zyphos if you want. Oh, I couldn't possibly do that. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> 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 I'm just saying, don't feel like you can't get in my ship and go, you know, go party, man. Go have fun. Like, whatever you got to do, man. Uh, like, I've taken your ship out a couple times and, and taken out some nullifiers and destroyed it and repaired it. I mean, I mean, no, I didn't. <laughs> no, I never did that. No, I'm kidding. I never did that. Did I do that? I think I took it out once just for like, no, I, no never mind. I don't think I did. I think I <laughs> joked about it. And then the chat, like, like. Pulled out pitchforks and told me no, I can't do that. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. Something All right, like man. That. I, I'm remembering it wrong. I'm gonna just go take your ship out for a joyride. Yeah, go for it, uh, man. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, have fun. <laughs> Woohoo! That's no, you know what, JT? I think that's true, man. He painted my ships pink and 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 yeah, I should be able to do whatever I want now. 
If you could, if you could park it above the condo, or actually below the condo, I guess, then below I can the access condo. the uh, cargo here. Yeah. All right. I don't I don't understand you at all, dude. How how what? is it that you can build these huge carriers that are all perfectly symmetrical and lined up and and beautiful and like perfect lines, but you right. can't park for shit. <laughs> what the freak like it's not even it, like perpendicular. It, it, it's like it's crooked halfway to the right, just bullshit. What is that? That is oh horrible. What do you I mean? You were done. done. You were done. You were out of the seat. Don't lie to me. You I were... was not out of the seat. I, oh, dude, dude, dude. Dude, dude. Here's here's why the view. Like 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 the view I see your ship on, right? If I yeah, try yeah. to see above it, it wigs out, and then I'm looking at like the bottom of a of a thruster somewhere. I got so you. I can't yeah. I can't see what's going on. No, I understand that. It is and it's just like yeah, yeah. And and you know what? If you were a good parker normally, I would buy what you just said, but <laughs> uh, I mean <laughs> Sorry. Well, your parking credibility is like at like a, a minus 4. Ne minus negative four. 4. It's pretty bad, dude. I don't yeah. <laughs> oh man. Well, at least uh ooh, hey. Ah. At least uh, uh, at, least, at least this time I uh, figured out how to get in your ship without, like, opening up, like, a blast door manually. <laughs> so, oh, no, I appreciate that. That's yeah. Good. That's yeah. good. Question. Where where did I put my quantums, my, my SVHV quantums? Because they're not in the Xyphos. Now I'm I, confused. I am. Because they were in the know. condo. They're not in the condo anymore. Are they in the whetstone? I don't know. Dude, heckin' shut up, dude. That that thing looks awesome. Oh. Your Kraken carrier, that thing looks amazing, dude. I can't wait for that thing to be done. Have you Kraken? seen uh, Heckin' Diver's new carrier? I don't believe so. Do you know the Kraken from uh, Star Citizen, the carrier? Kraken. K R A K E N. No. Google it sometime, and and then yeah. look at what Heckin Divers up to. It okay. Looks amazing, dude. It looks so oh, good. That sounds cool. That sounds cool. It kind of gives me uh, Atlas carrier vibes. Remember Super Killin's old uh, carrier? Okay, yeah. Kind of gives me that kind of vibe. Alright, I feel like I've lost some quantums. And now I'm super sad face. Where the hell are these quant? No, they gotta be somewhere, right? Okay, so they're not in the whetstone. Are they in the auger? No, why would they be in the auger? Are they in the scar prospect? No, why would they be there? Are they in the centaur? No, but there is a lot of random stuff. Well, well wait, are you sure? Check, yeah. to, to check, check the centaur again, because at, at one point, I, I thought we moved them out of there, but at one point you put some... Uh, some blocks in there when you took like heavy damage and you're gonna trash the tank. So you you took like the the good the good blocks. Oh, did I? Okay. We got here. There's heavy armor and shit in here, but no, that's it. There's nothing else in there. Okay, K bar heavy. There we go. <laughs> um, salvage pup. Nope. Archridge payload. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna be sad. Did were those in that cartridge that I lost? Remember, I lost a uh, cartridge. 
Mm, I don't know. I feel like we should have had like a running list of all the things we've lost in this let's play. I'm kind of sad <laughs> that we don't have a running list. <laughs> I'm saying we should have had like a running list of like all the all the deceased uh like there's a lot. It's not a small number. It's in the double uh, digits. Of things we lost? You think that many? Dude, we've lost a lot of vessels, man. Like complete annihilation. Wait, there's shit in the chislet. Dude, there's like drone processors in the chislet. That's funny. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh, it's like a lot. I mean, not a lot, but... By the way, we have like 330 of them. But I could literally make like three more auxiliary oh. cores for your, uh... For the sleddy sled once you bring it in. Oh, sweet. Yeah. Cool. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, here's a little dilemma I got, right? I was gonna. I was. I was thinking. You know, I wanted to put out the sled so it could uh, work with vanilla or reforge, kind of like the uh, the carapace, right? You know, where you could like put in the right core box or whatever. But then I got this dilemma, um, and it has to do with uh, the solar panels. Right. Um, like, what do I do about that? And man, I park like crap. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even land this. I'm trying to land the interfector right on the. The repair bay, and I'm struggling. Oh nice. no, I can't get nice. in the door. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I know. Um, yeah. So, and then, and then, like, I don't know. I was just thinking, what well, what do you do about all that? You know, like, like, because if I if I remove the solar panels, then you got like holes in the ship, and I don't want to like fill it in with stupid blocks. You know, to like, here, remove all these and put it in solar and then put in uh, the capacitors and then do this and then do that. And it's like, hmm. <laughs> so I had the same problem with um, the uh, the Xiphos. So I took the Xiphos into uh, Vanilla Creative and I'm like, I'm going to take out the, uh, I'm just going to take out the other uh, CPU blocks and I'm going to just put the four tier fours in there. And I put them in there and... The thing's like 13 million CPU in vanilla because of the blocks. And I'm like, dude, like, you know what I mean? It's only the blocks. That's the only reason why it was so high. And I'm like, this sucks, dude. I was crushed because, like, there's no way you can add CPU in vanilla once it's over CPU. Like, I would have to. Oh, right. I'd, I'd yeah. have to lose stuff. And then I know the effectiveness of the ship. I know that I need six... I, I know I need every thruster I have. I, you know what I mean? It just so it's an unworkable ship now. So now it's like okay, I would have to dumb the thing down, or I'd have to make it smaller. And I'm just like, you know what? Like, you know, just forget it. So, <laughs> so it's you know unfortunate, but I mean, it is kind of that you know there is a kind of a weird arbitrary limit with the uh, vanilla and the CPU. And I think the block thing, they need to get rid of CPU with blocks. They they really need to get rid of that. Because I think the reason why they did it is they thought that that would that would bring the size of vessels down, but that doesn't really matter because what brings vessels down is the thrusters and the performance of the vessel. So if you build this big obnoxious ship, but you can't put enough thrusters to move it, people aren't going to build big obnoxious ships. You know what I mean? And and that's it. You're limited by the performance. You're not. You don't have to be limited by the blocks you use. Um, and that, that's, that's, to me, that's a disconnect because the Xiphos isn't that big. It's a size class eight. It's, um, it moves, it moves good, but it, it is a max level ship, but it can move based on the thrusters it has as 20 extra large thrusters completely all around it. Right. And right. it moves. So it's like, you know what I mean? It's just kind of a, it's a limit that I don't think makes sense in vanilla. And I think they need to get rid of that block limit. Yeah, yeah, that is true. I don't know. I, 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 I mean, for the most part, you know, after doing reforge for a while, I, you know, I like, I like the building more now. I guess you know. Mm -hmm. At first, I was kind of, I got kind of discouraged because you know it would like it kind of screwed up some of my uh, heavier vanilla tanks and ships and stuff like that, right? But uh, you know, knowing that you can bring them back up to with with cpu blocks and things is cool and knowing how to get those blocks and knowing that it's not like 
insanely crazy to get them or anything like that. It's yeah, it's it's cool. But the 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 whole weapon thing, I and the ability to put on a bunch of one kind of weapon and higher limits and counts and and stuff like that. You can just build so much more stuff. You can build diff so much more kinds of custom combat specialized vehicles and everything so it's just yeah yeah well, i dig it well I, remember I, I, remember in vanilla you can turn off you know like block limits you can turn that off i mean that's you know but you know i hear you but i mean you know what i mean you could turn that off in vanilla too that it's really you know and and as far as the cpu goes i mean i guess they could keep messing around with it but i at the end of the day i get it but it's the, the block thing is the only thing that kind of bothers me because the whole point of CPU is to balance builds to where, you know, there's, you know, the trifecta of performance versus function versus, um, uh, what's the third one? Performance. Oh, armor. So, you know what I mean? So you have the three of those, but if you're also limited by the blocks, you know, it, it's, yeah, I don't get it. Just because, you know, like, yeah, some mm, people use right. a lot of blocks to armor. Other people use a lot of blocks to build something really long but skinny or, or whatever, you know? It's it's mm -hmm. limiting to me, and I don't I don't get why that limit's there. If if it already has a built-in limit, uh, you know, with uh, being able to move the damn thing. I'm taking one of your quantum cores. I, I guess I lost my small vessel quantum cores. You have three in the trip, so I'm gonna take one if you don't mind to put in this tank. Oh yeah, yeah, go, go for it. Um, we could make auxiliary small auxiliary cores, I guess. Maybe that's a better way to do it. I don't know. We'll see. I'm gonna play with it and see see how much I can add to this. I don't know how much a small auxiliary core gives you or a small quantum core gives you, but oh, gotcha. Oh well, yeah, if you felt like playing around too, if you if you wanted to mess around with that uh, that scar venom. I think it was in your your hangar over there. Um, yeah, that, that that could use a uh, quantum core too, and then a, the upgraded shield, and then oh, okay. whatever's if there's anything left over for more guns. <laughs> right, right. Well, that only gave me like seven thousand CPU. That sucks. All right, I'm gonna go uh, make a couple auxiliary cores. <laughs> that was trash. What seven thousand? That ain't shit. That's like how many turrets? Like two or something. Uh, yeah, it's a two, three turrets. Eh. No, let's um do better. Yeah. Oh yeah. No, we're gonna do better. Um. Oh, I think I need to unlock it. How many drone parts does it take to make one of these little bad boys? Takes 35 to make a small one. Cool. Gold and CPU extenders. Ho ho. Ho oh, hum. Um. I need to release stuff. release this base wow I got like 50,000 CPU free on this ship right now huh. nice. <laughs> yeah you know what I really want a couple more constructors believe it or not <laughs> right it's my thing I, I I love having lots of constructors you know I was so discouraged remember what like a long time ago um, they were all like, oh, you don't want many constructors on stuff and this and that. And, and that's when I was building all the ships and they would have like four to eight constructors on the ship. It was like standard for the bigger ships. Yeah. I miss that because now it's just like, oh, you're putting in the bare minimum of like maybe one or two and no more CPU. And I hate that. <laughs> I right, always hated right, that. Right. And when you want to get stuff done, which takes a long time to build and you're, and you might be wanting to process all kinds of stuff at once. That's a pain. Yeah, I think they're trying to justify bases with that. Mm. I think I was having this rant last night in my uh, build series about the whole bases thing. Like, they're forcing us to build bases, and I don't like it. Mm. 
No, I wouldn't say force because if there, well, yeah, uh, short of the. <laughs> You're yeah. forced. Well, in the beginning, you have to build a large constructor in order to progress. Like, you have to. You can't live out of an HV. Like, you have to. In order, I think it's something to do with an SV or something or something. You have to progress with a large constructor, and it's it's really annoying. That it has to be a base. I don't know. I think, oh, no, was it a CV? So, something. Something requires, like, if it's a CV starter block, something requires it. And it's like, nah, I don't want to build a base. It's like, oh, you can go to the trader and you can use the thing. And I'm like, but I hate traders and, and I don't want to, I don't want the Polaris <laughs> to help me. I just, I just want to be a nomad, man. I just want to play the way I want to play. How about that? All right. Can yeah. I, can I just play the way I want to play? And then, oh, that's right. So, we, so we, we were having this thing and I just asked, I'm like, what is, what is with the game? You know, what, why does it matter to the game? what type of vessels we build why does that matter you know because it's like oh you know people aren't using bases enough or people aren't using hvs enough and i'm like why does that matter i don't understand why that matters it mm -hmm. what's the what's the quota about like why you, you know what i mean like the people that want to build hvs and bases and cvs and whatever they're gonna build them one way or another right so why is the game trying to push people to you know use all these different builds that's, that's what i don't get keep it creative uh... keep it a game that you know like you may never build a base i may love bases and i want to live in bases and do all this great stuff right but yeah, we, well, we can have different it... experiences yeah well yeah the, the the whole early game base thing i, I get you and it, and it really does force you to do that because you're going to need a large constructor or even if even a small constructor you're going to need something to build other stuff so and, and you only can really do a base at that point in time in, in the game so yeah i get it that that, that you're forced to but I, it's kind of like introduction to building too for new players i suppose but for us people we can i don't know we can build one on the side <laughs> just yeah. just you know use a, use a blueprint and bam there's a base okay let's let's get resources get a cv and we're out of here <laughs> right all right, I'm super confused. Took them, so where where the hell where the hell is it? Oh, container controller output. Not in output. Took my drone parts. Didn't give me auxiliary core. My drone parts. I don't understand. Hmm. Not this sounds... one. No. Oh. Oh, you're just really slow. Oh, okay. That's. Oh. I got so confused there. So why did I use the third one? That's weird. Ah, there you go. Quote that. Hard by key. Yeah, this takes a long time to make these like advanced core thingies. All right, so yeah. while well, that's cooking, let's uh, strategize. Or actually, I could just put these things on here, and then I don't necessarily have to wait for that to cook. Um. Yeah. Oh. Hello. Good day, sir. Um. I need a lot of rockets. One, two, I need more rockets. Okay, so we're gonna move these. Hold on, let's, let's do a little fix these here. Um, oh wait, these are big rockets. I need small rockets. Yeah, I think it was something like that, uh, Garman. You need a large constructor to make an EVA booster. That's ridiculous. <laughs> and the thing is, I don't think they're conscious of that. You know what I mean? I don't think that they, they're thinking that far into it and going like, oh, that might, 
that might be unbalanced or you know disproportionate to what people are doing at that point in the game and i i think they just think like well an eva booster is kind of a big deal so we should make it require like a bigger constructor that makes sense to them right and it's like yeah that makes perfect sense but what they don't realize is like yeah some people don't like bases and don't like the base and oh but we want you to do the whole base defense thing and it's like well some people don't want to do that you know no yep. no yeah, no that's uh it's like in seven days some people build big horde bases some people nomad it and just live out of like little things every night and you know figure it out each time like they don't get involved in a big build yeah no yeah I, I can see that i knew someone that, that i like to play that way in seven days i'm kind of more of a i want to build a superstructure <laughs> kind yeah. of thing you know like this, this ultimate base farm machine killing yeah. structure <laughs> see i do that at the end i i, I wait till the end yeah. that, but i do do that I usually, but my game plan is usually um, I'll go through the first seven days, just you know, building up levels and getting getting stuff, move into some POI somewhere, um, and then like after that, I uh, really try to like you know get to the point where I can like build like a serious structure and like start some new building somewhere, usually in, in the middle of the street, in the middle of a town. <laughs> uh just we all do our things <laughs> right right yeah but i mean everybody yeah. has their unique kind of gameplay right mm -hmm. So guys, this is a prototype from a, a fairly old build, and uh, Rogar of UTM actually uh, took it from me and brought it into Reforged Eden. Changed the thrusters, changed a bunch of stuff. So you know, got this thing to where it can work, and uh, in Reforged. So now I'm going to add on to it, add more turrets and stuff, and we're gonna test it out. Hmm. Very cool. You go, where do you got that at? Or uh... oh, it's on top of the tug of hut. Well, you know, I got my color tool equipped. <laughs> no, nice. Ah, nice. <laughs> oh, cool. Ah, okay. So all the uh, turrets out and back. Yeah. So it's got uh, it's got decoy blocks in the inside of it. It's got two fixed drills and one turret in the inside. So okay. All the fire goes to the front, and then you know lag shots. It's got all kinds of shit, and then in the back here is where the cockpit is. Okay. Cool. Cool. Surrounded by core blocks. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Very cool. Thanks, man. Ah, uh, more turrets. Yes, always, always must have more turrets. <laughs> more. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha. 
That was cool. Uh, I like how the, the back, you got like that bar across the back, like a like plate yeah. right there. Yeah, I built this back when we were doing PvP builds. I think it was a challenge, I think. PvP tanks or whatever. Oh, okay. Or maybe it wasn't PvP. Maybe it was just like battle tanks or something to that effect. But it was an old designer's challenge from like last year. Okay. POI Buster Channel. Okay, yeah, maybe. It's kind of sucking as I as I like ran out of turret positions. <laughs> well, kind of. Yeah, uh, it's like turret positions on the on the ship, but I've got like some on the bottom. All right. If, uh... How much CPU is this thing gonna need now? Like a hundred million CPU? Ah, oh, that's that's actually not bad at all. Okay. Oh, neat. It's cute and all, but it's gonna block the outer turrets. Can't have that shit. <laughs> cute doesn't win the war. No. I could. If, you know, everybody fell for it. <laughs> <laughs> no, Jay Randall. <laughs> Chrome don't get you home, nope. <laughs> uh. Uh oh, <laughs> what'd you do, Jay? Nothing. I the uh let's just ah. Uh. Oh, one of those. Le yeah, it's like I'm trying to work on the ship, but I got to be within lo logistics. But when, if I go to the other side of the ship, I can't place anything because I'm out of range again. And it's like, I hate that. I just hate that. Brutal. I, I wonder if I'd put it on in symmetry, though.
Yes, right? There should be like, yeah, built-in bridge. Bridging capabilities for Wi-Fi. Absolutely. Yeah. I don't know. I just, I wish, I wish the, uh, the area was just like much, much greater or, or didn't even really care as long as you were like in the same planet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? All right, Jay. That's a little much. <laughs> well, That's a little much. But, but no, I mean, honestly though, like I wish there was a way to extend the range. So like if two Wi-Fi's like were within a handshake, like that it would carry on and extend the range of it. You know what I mean? Like a yeah. like an extender, like a Wi-Fi extender or a bridge or whatever. Right. Or like li li link them all up. I don't know. It's just yeah. yeah I imagine having a like small like HV uh, um repeaters. You know, just have like a little repeating HV that you would park and just let it sit there and protect itself while repeating the Wi-Fi signal. And then just, you know what I mean? Just have like this, yeah, I think that'd be cool, man. It'd be kind of cool. And then have a way to like, you know, the way that we can see like territories and stuff, like have a way to show the Wi-Fi range and see if they overlap. Oh, yeah. I mean, that, yeah, that would be cool. I don't know. I just, I find it annoying a lot, you know, when you want to do something and it's just like, you got, you got to like move this around and get this over here. And then if you're working on over there, then you're out of range again. And then it's like, ah, oh, now what do I got to do? <laughs> yeah. It's just uh, clunky. It needs to be refined. Yeah. Setting Wi-Fi to public would be really cool too. That would be really cool. Oh yeah. For sharing stuff. and Or even have different networks. Imagine having like a, Imagine having like a Wi-Fi connector, right? A Wi-Fi connection block, putting it down and then setting permissions to it. And then having a second one that would be for public and then being able to assign cargo to that specific wireless connection. So that you can openly share things on that network, but then have a private network for your actual distribution stuff. But still be able to add like users or add groups or whatever to it. Like That'd be so cool, man. That would be that really cool. Would be. Would be. Survival building shenanigans. Drone and Wi-Fi range is really what makes survival building frustrating. <laughs> it's something, man. It's so I mean they introduced the shit, so you know. Cause honestly, like I'm fine with with a manual process for having to move stuff if there was something in the game that was like that. Like I'd be all for that. You know, if you want to go that route, like, I would love to have to have, like, uh, CV or HV, uh, like, container movers and just let us use, like, magnetic docking blocks or something to where, you know, if I want to move cargo, I have to have a container that has the cargo in it and I have to be able to uh, grab onto it and soft dock from, like, a CV and then I have to move it over to, like, my base and you know drop it off and like i'd be fine with that but there's no process for that either so mm. you know what i mean like i'm fine either way like i can do the the fantasy you know evaporation method that we have now or i can do uh the manual you know but moving shit from inventory window to inventory window that's that's where it gets like unimmersive to me so you know yeah yeah i don't know i mean if I've been using it, obviously, uh, a lot more because it's convenient, you know, getting in the P menu. But, I mean, oh. really, I do. I still like, like, if you if you design a nice crafting area and everything is, like, convenient right there and you just run up and you just access it. I, I prefer that, though, I, I than going in P menu. Yeah. But, I mean, it's, it's like, these ships get pretty big and you're not next to that right then and there unless you spend a lot of time in the crafting area <laughs> yeah well that's what i like i mean see that that's where i love space engineers is the conveyors the 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 docking uh yeah. you know you can dock conveyor system to conveyor system with a cv docking to a base and you can literally funnel things in and out you can you can have automatic sorters that will literally pull all of the ore out of your mining ship and pull it into like a uh, production system 
automatically once you set it up it's automatic so like you you dock the plutus to the whetstone and it'll automatically yeah. suck all the ore out of the plutus and distribute it where it needs to be distributed to to be refined and the stone would right. go to the stone crushers and auto, like all that automatically happens in space engineers once you program it but you have the control to program that any way you want which is makes it so fun dude it's like it's like satisfactory inside imperion basically that's what space engineers gives you so that no, one okay. aspect of the game it's amazing space engineers just sucks for most other parts of it. <laughs> oh yeah but, but that one part's a lot of freaking fun man it's super immersive i love it yeah no it does sound cool What happened to my other gun? <laughs> Boy, I can't wait to get one of these cores. Oh, it's almost done, guys. Just has to make the uh, the toilet paper. Oh, what's this? Aluminum foil? Okay, whatever. Same thing. I just like NPCs to not spawn in corridors. You've just cleared. <laughs> yeah, that'd be good. That'd be cool. I like that. I'm good with that. I'm just, I, I gotta say though, I am glad that they didn't go the route as, uh, that one game. Shit, now I forget the name of the game. Well, there's this, there's this other space survival game where, um, they have drones and stuff that do all the tasks for you. So you program them to, like, mine for you, to craft for you, to, and it's just a bunch of drones and androids, like, around your base, like, doing these things, which sounds cool. But it's janky as hell. It's it's horrible. Oh my god, it's horrible. <laughs> oh, it's so bad, dude. It's so irritating. I've streamed it before. I forget the name of it already. But it, me and Obsidian did a... I think like one episode. <laughs> I was like, yeah, this game still sucks. <laughs> Yeah, damage. No, me too. Honestly, all that manual, like having to like like fuel lines and and you know oxygen, having to oxygenate the pilot seats and all this. I love all of that. I think it's so it's awesome. As a builder, that shit's a lot of fun, man. It's a lot of fun to have to like figure out all the internal piping of everything, and that's I I love space engineers for that. But it's just you know the you know only having 45 degree blocks and you know there's a couple things that just limit the building definitely but it's still doable i mean there's there's, there's some beautiful ships in space engineering there's some amazing ships you know a lot of mods have uh, fixed a lot of those issues and stuff but it just the game doesn't run great i mean maybe i gotta revisit it again but i think we played it a year ago here and it was still just really bad in multiplayer so it could be worth visiting again, I don't know. Oh. Wait, what? Wait, what happened? Wait, what? So confused. Mm -hmm. I don't know, I'm super confused. I just put this thing in here and... It's still over. I don't think it gave me anything, because I have the quantum in here, so it was already at 57. That didn't do anything. Oh, did was it sub? Oh, it subtracted it because I was at six. Yeah, no, it did something. Okay, so once we get the other one, I think we'll be uh, we'll be ace of base here. <laughs> nice, nice. All right, so I mean, are we actually gonna go fight shit today? Like that'd be fun. Oh, you wanted to go fight stuff? Okay. Well, I thought I'm we were actually, going to the uh, home world and, like, we are going to go own shit. Or should we just, like... Oh, I guess we're not ready, right? Well, I, I think, yeah, I thought we were just trying to get, like, ready to do that. Yeah, you know, you know I, and the whole, the whole uh, prep time thing, I'm not good at that. <laughs> I'm way more Iron Man than Batman, you know? It's like, let's just jump in the suit and go. Right, right, yeah. <laughs> no, I, Jarvis I, I will take care of shit. I've been doing all these little jobs that I, or like, you know, improvements and things that I've been wanting to do. Haven't got around to yet, but so yeah, I got a lot done actually. So yeah, I've been building stuff too, ammo and stuff, but okay. so I got four advanced constructors now on the Tribuse. 
Uh, it's got, I think, another four missile turrets. Whoa. Um, I, I put 16 missile turrets on the in, in, in inner factor and a quantum core. Um, I got that repairing. <laughs> and so, so yeah. I, got, I got to ask you. Um, I think I think I know the answer though. I think this is the most flown CV you've ever used in the game, right? At this point. I would say yeah, yeah. Um, I've been on this. Well, I mean, I was using the Creel Shade for a little bit, and yeah, we didn't use the C7 very long. <laughs> we no. sort of just left it somewhere. Um, yeah. Uh, but uh, yeah, other than that, um, yeah, I, I I think I've had this ship for the longest now of any that I've had surv survive. Even though th this one's got messed up, but good a few times now, but. <laughs> Yeah, but the fact that you know you're still in it, you're using it as your home. You've you've now upgraded it several times. You've yeah. added things. You've done you've done manual upgrades. You know to emulate oh, what she did on the workshop version. I mean, oh yeah, ch ch check out this this blast door over here too. Yeah, yeah. Ah, look at that. Well, well, well. <laughs> custom yeah. custom job there. Nice. I got I got crew all over the place. You're hanging out in engineering now. Right. Um, yeah, I was just say yeah. I got the CPU up to. Well, actually, yeah, man, I've got. I just put in a, another quantum core in the ship, so I've got like another hundred fifty thousand CPU left. Um, after after <laughs> I, I I really didn't need the other other quantum core. I kind of needed a little bit of it, but not all of it. <laughs> what I, I got but, a question for you now. Why why are you so yeah. small? What do you mean? Oh, am I tiny on your screen? <laughs> You're like super tiny, dude. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you like a dust, dust keeping fairy or something now. <laughs> uh, yeah, I uh, I don't see myself that way, but yeah, I I've seen that happen. Yeah. Before. Yeah. But well, th can you imagine like being in like a uh, shootout with me right now, and I'm this tiny? I could just like be like 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 Minnie Mouse or you know, right. <laughs> No, you can't see me. <laughs> <laughs> nice. All right, so four advanced. You've got four small. This thing's yeah, dude, rocking and rolling, man. Yeah, I, I love I, I love doing that production stuff. Um, yeah, I feel bad. It doesn't have the full LCD display. Uh, on the other one, I, I actually uh, I filled in this part, but yeah, I've got uh, yeah, I got 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 dancing chicks. I, I've got it all, man. This, yeah. yeah, I don't, don't want to. Did you put Zeno in this front space yet? Oh, did I? I don't. Oh, wait, I where is the I space? might have. Four right now. Oh yeah, you got to go up the floor. Oh, I probably ought to turn on jetpack. No, actually, I'm gonna leave jetpack on. <laughs> Way faster. So you know how to get to the front? Yeah, I'm working on it. Uh, I think I did. I did fill this with, you know. <sighs> oh, and I'm starving. <laughs> <sighs> oh, you did. Cool. Yeah, that works. Added, add, added protection. I suppose I could try to fill it in a little more, but eh. Uh. There's a decoy in the center of that, or no, no. Oh, I, you know, yeah. I, it, honestly, that part takes a beating without a decoy. It's like I don't really need to draw more fire there because it's already getting hit there. <laughs> so it's uh, like I, it's aiming. You know, yeah, I guess it's aiming at your generators or something. Yeah. You got a dancing girl randomly over here. Look at you. Oh yeah, 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 definitely. Yeah, I, I got, I got dudes standing. Oh, there's another one down there in the wall. She's risking uh, it all, man. Look at yeah. her. Yeah, this dude over here, he he likes to uh, <laughs> patrol the uh, extra generator area if you, if you ever needed some more little generators. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, it, it's just that was a room that you can fill. So the Xeno. Xeno blocks actually have more armor than combat steel, but they're lighter than combat steel. They're almost as light as uh, hardened steel. 
So that's why a lot of people use Xeno. Um, oh. But they have like no texture, so. Yeah, oh, they, 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 yeah the, the, the textures are terrible. But if you want to see an example of some really good looking full Xeno ships, definitely check out the challenge submissions channel. Because some people defied the odds and made some beautiful Xeno uh, builds in this last challenge. They did, yeah. That's uh, you. I mean, you can still do some things with Xeno, but yeah, it's it's extremely limited with texturing, and and the textures that they do have don't really match or fit much of anything else. Right. Oh, hey, I think this this got fixed then. Let's see. Yeah, it's got all the all the antenna on the front again. Oh. Yeah. Nice. So. Did you put so, those yeah, rockets on there yet? Yeah, it's got 16 uh, uh, rocket turrets now, too. So, hold up. Let me, uh, oh, yeah, oh, make, oh. Let me make all the weapons come out. Yeah. So, yeah. So, 16 rockets down the middle. Uh, so, of, e of each arm, or like four per each arm. And then, yeah, the rest of them are still cannon. And then I guess there's still four of those uh, minigun ones up at the front. Hmm. But I think CPU wise, um, yeah, it's just under two point three million. So two point. So it's it's one one quantum core. I could uh, replace sixteen uh, cannon turrets with rocket turrets. Nice, bro. These cores take for freaking ever to craft. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Admins initiate Instacraft. <laughs> <laughs> Oh god, you remember Instacraft? Like you'd accidentally oh, yeah, craft like yeah. a million of something because you don't remember. <laughs> you're like, <laughs> oh yeah, well yeah, I'm so used to like hitting like controller shift when I'm crafting something, so it does like ten or a hundred or whatever. Yeah, yeah Instant Craft is like, oh, I didn't mean to make like five hundred <laughs> like those and waste all uh, the resources. <laughs> yeah, I need to make ammo. Boom, 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 and it's like ah, made. It's like wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> Not good. So yeah, actually, so what do I got on here right now? I keep on adding more and more guns, but I'm running out of like spots for guns. So now I'm making new spots for guns. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, I got 22 uh, missile turrets now on there. 11 nice. cannon turrets, 5 flak turrets, 3 artillery turrets. Oh, you said, uh, I wonder if RCS would be a thing. I wonder if that would really make much of a difference or not. You know, I still want more guns. Oh, you know, I got I got more gun spots on the back and on the bottom, yeah. <laughs> Do it. More guns. Hmm. More guns. Yeah, you know, maybe I'll put on cheaper turrets. So I've got yeah, I got all these extra uh, other turrets now, so slap some of them on here for Thanks for following there, Snowmonkey6. Appreciate that. Guys, give me one sec. I'll be right back. I'm going to grab some water. All right.
All right, I'm back. All right. Uh, let's see, titanium, iron, carbon. I'm gonna go ahead and bring in my mech. Oh, you gotta bring in your mech. Nice. Yeah, just to test it. It's already like, um, I mean, it's not done done at all, but cos it's just cosmetic now, kind of. Gotcha. Yeah, how many? How many? Uh, how many HP rockets you think we ought to have per like tank? A lot. We need to like mass produce that shit. It's gonna be a lot. So cobalt and zascosium. Isn't it great to like have resources? It is. It is nice to have resources. Still got like 1,500 wood saved up too. <laughs> oh, I got yeah, carbon, magnesium. Yeah, doing all right on resources. Doesn't mean I never want to mine again, though. <laughs> oh no, we 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 definitely always kind of need to mine, but. Hey, it's Raptor. What's up, man? Long time. How you doing? Trying to find laser weapons here. Let's see what you got. You got any laser weapons? Got any, got any lasers? Laser. Shit, dude. Who, me? Yeah. Ah, you, you don't- oh, you got two- okay, I'm, I'm stealing two laser guns from you. Oh. How dare you? Where did I even have those at? <laughs> in the fridge? I probably, find... I probably put them there. <laughs> They're in the fridge. Oh, oh, yeah, oh, okay, fridge. Yep. Alright, here we go. The drill pup. The drill pup mutt mark, mark two. Special Ooh. edition, special scar edition. That's not totally. Actually, you can finish texturing this for me. It's scar. Oh, hold up, hold up. I'm coming. It's scarified. Oh, it's, it's scarified. Ooh, it's scarified. Uh, so oh, there it is. There yeah, she blows. Can't, can't miss it. <laughs> <laughs> you, you tried to miss it, but you can't miss it. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. I like what you got going on there. That's 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 looking yeah. cool. Nice. You know what we're hurting on is fuel. Fuel? Uh, I'm out of ice again. I, it seems like you know when you get, when you get ice, it doesn't make or ice asteroids. It doesn't make all that much. Um, uh. Of, of the fuel you go through you burn through it really quick i noticed um I, yeah I, I i do know what planet to go to now too it's the one next to us now i, I was being stupid before imagine that uh, yeah, I can't. <laughs> yeah so there, there, there's a it's charbri so it's yeah that one right over there that's it's got two of the tree harvesters chilling on it and all those uh you know all those water collectors and things all right Oh, I got radiation burn? Uh, but I've been hanging out too much in space. Shit, I <laughs> forgot to put the warp tank on this thing. Aww. <laughs> uh, that's annoying. 
I swear I put one on there. I guess I took it off. Raged a little, okay, maybe a lot. But, dude, that makes it a good stream, man. Raging's good. Alright. <laughs> you think? <laughs> oh, yeah. Raging can be good. So then, now I gotta figure out where the hell the warp tank's gonna go. I think I got room somewhere here. Yeah, can you imagine if the, if the warp tank was huge too? Like it was like six blocks long or something? Oh my god, right. what a nightmare. <laughs> hey, I, I'll be right back. Yep. Really? It's just, it's like, I don't know, it's slightly different, but it's still good. It's ketchup. Just a better ketchup. Don't bring the thing. See, this is a problem with kids, man. If it's not the exact thing they know, they don't like. It's it's like I guess it's a little more organic, so it's slightly darker, so it's like tripping her out. What you got? Chicken nuggies? Can I have a chicken nuggie. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Chicken nuggie. See my new ship? Look, it's a doggy. A robot dog. Does it look like a robot dog? Looks like an octopus. An octopus? Damn, my kid says my uh, dog looks like an octopus. Octopus have. Octopi. Octopi? Have eight legs. This only has four. <laughs> it does kind of, right? The top of it? I guess that makes sense. Damn it. Darn it. <laughs> Sorry. Darn it. Darn it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's cool, though. octopus face it damn it no it's a dog it's 
robot dog. Did you go inside the uh, robot dog? Slash not yet. Not, oh. not yet. You know what though? You don't. You don't have the scar color pack on that. No, I need the <laughs> scar color pack. Yeah, I need. I need that. Well, I think I can. I think I can rectify that. You can and, accommodate. And, and, uh, I can accommodate. Hold oh. on, I'm gonna break it. I'm gonna break into your Xiphos here a minute, mm. and then, uh, yeah, open Wait, the blast doors. Oh, I'll go, I'll go. So, yeah, so I can run over here and grab the uh, color palette from this. Whoops. It'll make it grayer. <laughs> I think. Nice. It needs to be a little more gray. I was just thinking about that, the lack of gray. Okay, so that should be... Okay, so I moved it over, but I think... Oh shit, it's purple. What? No, it's purple! Hold on. It's just the XPC's purple, so I must have used black or something. Oh. I think I use all black when I do that. Okay. We got it. We're good. It's okay now, Jay. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, it's good. Oh, yeah. you know what? I, I don't think it worked. Oh, man, I'm killing myself. No, it worked. You totally, totally did it, because it's got this, like... Oh, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, like 1986 PC <laughs> Tower <laughs> antique white thing going. I'm trying to... So I'm looking for uh, texture light opportunities on your ship here. It what? needs... It, you got to have some texture lights. Yeah, what do you mean, glowies? Yeah, glowies. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You can, yeah, put your little red glowies on there. That's fine. That's fine. Yeah, I'm looking at... Here, can I paint a strip over here? <laughs> <laughs> Go for oh, it. Oh, you know, I, I can't. Um, did you want to move it to the uh, the faction? I can't, I can't actually oh. touch it. Yeah. Okay. That's, why the, the, that's why I was surprised the color thing worked. But, oh, yeah, yeah, I see that it's... Okay. So yeah, you got yeah you got these blocks here. So you got this all this opportunity to uh, like split them up. Lots of opportunity. Lots of opportunity. Yes, definitely. What? It's so devious tricking poor Jeff in a texture. <laughs> <laughs> it's JTK's base for people who hate bases. Tatiana, are you eating headphones? What? Who's Tatiana? What's my stock? What's my take on GameStop stock going? Tell me more. I'm not. I'm not enlightened. What? What about the stock? And why is it going? Is that zero or up? I'm not in the know. It's up seven hundred percent because of Reddit. It why? What happened? What happened? What? Why? Why? Why did that happen? What did Reddit have to Reddit have to do with uh, it going up? I don't understand. So a bunch of Reddit day traders just pumped up GameStop from like fifteen. But how though? Like, I don't understand.
Oh, they were trying to break a short by a hedge fund because they hate hedge funds. Oh, okay. I mean, does that mean that if I go trade a game in, I'm gonna get more than, like, a nickel, or...? If that's the case, I'm all for it. Aren't those... See, and I just, I just have no idea even what that means. So <laughs> that's the problem. Like, you know, I mean, it pays to, to, I guess, have some knowledge of that kind of stuff. Like, I have no idea. Oh, okay. I, I got it. That makes sense then. I get what you're saying. Oh, I see some glowies now. A couple. Yeah. Oh, glow testing. <laughs> so this thing has two uh, complete cargo systems. It's got um. It's got twelve drills. It's oh, got nice. fixed rockets and flak. It's got. It's got, or sorry, not fixed. It's got, well, no, it does actually. It has fixed rockets. It has rocket turrets. It has flak turrets. Um, yeah. Oh, it's got a God. shield. It's got a tier zero shield. Well, that's cool. Yeah. Yeah, no. Yeah. Eh. Eh. We need flak. We need trees. That trees are a thing, dude. We really need a lot of trees. Well, you want to do a uh, you want to do a road trip to our favorite tree planet? <laughs> <laughs> all all expense paid. <laughs> <laughs> I really don't. But <laughs> we probably need to. <laughs> uh, okay, two. Oh, is it two? What? Wait, what? Here. What's what's the difference here? What, what do I need? MK two forty laser charge. Oh, that's the fixed lasers. I think I have those somewhere. Okay. Yeah. Oh, that's two twenty. Oh, what the hell's two twenty for? Mother. So confused, <laughs> man. Two forty, two twenty. What's the freaking difference? Stupid. Damn it. <laughs> Question, do you have your own, like, subscriber server or fan server? I don't, but we are currently in the Anvil Reforged Eden community server. All you got to do is be part of the community. Uh, it doesn't cost you anything. Just a can-do attitude. You go into the uh, Discord, 
link below. Um, you ask to uh, be part of the uh, the Anvil Citizen uh, group, and then they'll get you uh, get you sorted, and you can get right in there, man. But support always is welcome, but it's definitely not mandatory. Daddy, can and, I lay on you? And I am not the only streamer of the Anvil. There's plenty of other streamers um, that that would love some support. Some uh, you know, check them out. Um, you know, see what they're up to. Jay Randall here does uh, YouTube content. Um, you can check out his stuff as well in the Discord in uh, Jay Randall Studio. Uh, we've got JTK Gaming. We, we've got we got Script. We got Ice Wolfen. We've got Rexon. We've got a Scarly. We've got um, God, I wish I didn't start naming them because now if I forget what I'm gonna feel like an asshole. So <laughs> <laughs> we got we got we got like twenty freaking streamers at, at least, maybe even thirty streamers in the annual. We got Fred Hophead. We got we got Rig, aka Character Craft. We got um, dude, like yeah, we got we got so many freaking streamers. It's insane. What's wrong? Why, why are you tired already? You just came home from school. You know, I played your, your screaming thing for them? Where you were screaming? Remember that? Mm. I played that. Isn't that exciting? Had a rough day at school. Um, It's purple. Did you mean for it to be purple? Me, no. Okay. It's got, I got purple legs over here. I guess that's black. I guess black is your purple hair. So let me let me fix that. Uh, oh, gotcha. Yeah, I don't use black, like black in the uh, color palette. Yeah, I only use it for you know that one texture that has like the weird red glowy, but it's all like really black and kind of cable looking texture. Yeah. So I use black there to get rid of the glowy, and then I use black for um. What, I use black when I put that XBC on usually. And that's okay. just to make that letter pop. But otherwise, yeah, I don't use black either. Gotcha. Oh, actually. Oh, yeah, there's there's the warp core. Hey, man, your your warp core. Sean, oh, that, that's, a, that's a... Is that a warp core or is that a shield? Shield. Shield. Oh, the small shield. Okay, yeah, gotcha. Yeah, it's a small shield. I know. You, I, I'm not, it. Yeah, I'm not convinced on the... Uh, the back here. I might kind of like bring that out a little bit. What do you think? The back. Uh, well, just pull it. Just pull it back one, but maybe like a little break the shape up a little bit, or that's how I was thinking of. Oh, I see. Like I don't mind that it's exposed. I mean, Daddy, I think it's safe. It's just. It's safe. Yeah. Well, I mean, I'm not sure if I'm in range of. Yes, I am. <laughs> Uh-oh. What's this made of? Combat? Combat, I think. Is it? No, it's hardened. Hardened? Harden? Yeah, hardened. It's there. It's just there for any time I want to see it. See, I get to see it every day. Isn't that cool? But, Daddy, you see over there if it's on your arm. That's true. Nah, see? Enough. Darn it. I just like yours. Yeah. I see it every day. But you see it on your arm. Well, I'll put it on after, okay? Okay. It's Daddy. It's not too. It's too good, but. You accident to connect it together? Mm -hmm. Oh, a little lippy one, yeah. Yeah. Oh, there's yeah. Uh, parts, parts that fit that all right. So, um, I just probably want to modify the sides a little bit too, but uh, I could slant hey, it down. Yeah, do that little lippy uh, rampy thing too. Oh, daddy. Yeah. 
Base there. What's cool about this block is that outer edge, you can, it's independent like coloring, so you can do like a fine little like black stripe or something if you wanted to. I, yeah, sorry. I pressed the button on my mic to mute it. Sorry about that. Oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, I was talking I, to you the I, whole time. I was like, I had all kinds of clever things to say. It was, yeah. Oh, oh, I didn't hear any of it. No, I'm sorry. It's, it's lost. No, it's my fault. I, I turned my mic off. Like an oh. asshole. <laughs> uh, I thought, I thought you were just pissed. <laughs> <laughs> what oh, are you doing, for that? <laughs> no, no, no. Do I, no, I was loving like, it, dude. Oh, no. I was bragging that Jay Randall's finishing my designer's challenge build. It, it was a subtle <laughs> flex, you know? I'm like, yeah, what are you guys doing? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, Heckin' Diver, you gotta... I have that. I have Insurgency Sandstorm. It's a pretty good game, man. Dude, this is all Jay really wants to do. <laughs> oh, me, no. He, he, he might well. fool you with the whole play in the game thing, but. <laughs> <laughs> play in the whole game thing. Yeah, I, 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 oh, yeah, I just say, I, I freak, I freak, I'm sorry. Nah, it looks good, man. It looks good. I, I like that shape, dude. That shape pops it. Because it was weird that it was just kind of like a different texture and color, but it was literally like the same. You know what I mean? It wasn't broken up. It was bothering me, and oh. I do I do like the wall, the interior uh, wall block you got there, kind of in setting that. That looks good. Oh, thanks. Yeah, I wasn't sure how it was gonna turn out. Just basically, like, what would I do if it was my ship? There <laughs> you, you go. Know? There you go. 
Yeah, this was a struggle month, man. This was a hard month. I'm definitely going to have something... Uh... Uh, honestly, too, this is actually about the lowest uh, challenge uh, submission month we've had in a while. So, oh, yeah, the max. Yeah, yeah, a lot of people, I don't know. Yeah, a lot of people didn't want to do it, or they just got frustrated, or maybe they're just still working on it. So maybe there'll be a lot of late entries, but it was definitely a lot lower than last month, obviously. Yeah. Well, you know, kind of, it's kind of hard, you know. Yeah. Uh, you know, and, uh, and also, I mean, some people might look at it too, where, like, obviously, a mech shaped design. Usually isn't like the best for in-game totally stuff. You know what I mean? So yeah, it's it's all you know. I think I think a lot of us build things that we uh, want to envision ourselves playing in, like role playing in, or just playing in, and like you know, it's exciting. It, it's exciting to spawn in a really cool cv or sv and be like yeah you know i'm the captain of this badass machine you know so when you get a mech it's like oh i'm the captain of this completely dead android thing that can't move <laughs> you know what i mean it's a it's it's a, it takes a different imagination you know to to enjoy that i'm not saying it doesn't exist but it's it is a little harder to uh to get excited about that and then obviously imperion you know in general has some uh drawbacks obviously you know no moving parts no pistons and other so it is harder to you know build something like that like if we were in you know se or if we were in you know uh um starship evo or something like we could literally build mechs and it would be a different thing right but oh, so, right. you know yeah. so it is what it is i mean it, it's something that people had asked to do for like years and but it is a really niche kind of thing right so it is what it is and we got we did it i, I wanted to do it so we finally got her done and next yeah. month next month we're gonna do uh we're gonna do something cool so all can, right well no, I, yeah I, I i think mechs are cool i mean yeah i was i've been really busy this month too i mean just oh, yeah, yeah not sled dude but, sled yeah i've been sled. yeah i've been really really working on that and then yeah the mac um I could show you what I got on the mech right now, but yeah, uh, sure. we'd, have, we'd have to cheat. Well, I mean, we, we can despawn it, right? So we I, can still do that, right? I think so. I think they figured that out or something. I don't know. I just trying to get some stuff on there uh, yeah uh, uh, looks uh, good you, you totally improved the top of this thank you oh no problem all right here let me uh i'm going to beat build stream beat. incoming <laughs> yeah build stream incoming <laughs> <laughs> uh let's see where it's a prep day anyway guys so i mean we are actively like crafting stuff but we could just sit here and do nothing or we could you know Build stream. All right. Oh, what? I'm blind. I am so blind. I think my eyes bug out after a while. I, you know, ever ever like sit and like do texture marathons? There it is. <laughs> no, no, Jay. I, I don't. That's my problem. <laughs> oh, okay. But but you should uh, get you some uh, some blue light glasses like I got here that just seem to give me a headache actually. Yeah, maybe. All right. Here's what I got so far. Oh. And, uh, oh. So I'm again working on the head right now, so it's not like done. I changed it from how it was, and I want to yeah. do more with the arms too. But I, I, I got the, I yeah, I thickened it up. I got the the legs a little thicker and worked out the back and mm -hmm. other things. So. Yeah. But. It, now, now here's the thing the only way in this thing is through this door in the back and i don't know how you're gonna get there <laughs> <laughs> space space <laughs> right. yeah. yeah i like the back back looks good though the jetpack thing yeah it looks really good oh yeah I, well i needed to get sticking thrusters and i, I yeah like uh, like mechs have jump jets or well some mechs have jump jets and yeah. they'd be back there anyway so like oh, yeah cool. yeah that works 
And I was trying to get like so you could see all the hinge joints, you know, between like um, or or something that looks like a hinge joint yeah. between like like the torso and the and the upper leg and the lower leg and like the the ankles and right. But yeah, I'm not I'm not liking on the head thing that I got going on, and uh, I'm 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 working I'm working I want to find something that I that I like for head. I tried this helmet looking thing, and I didn't care for that bunch, and tried some indented thing and some thing that stuck out, and I, I'm just I'm just I don't know. I got I got to I got to figure out a head. <laughs> <laughs> I do like the first one better than this one. Yeah, the the original head you had was better. I think. Yeah, the way yeah it I was back a little bit. Yeah, the the other one was a lot uh, more curvy. Um, yeah. But I was like, well, I didn't know if it looked mean enough though, so I was just experimenting, and I was doing it actually right before the stream, so I didn't even like finish up what I was trying to even do. But I don't like it now that I look at it again. I'm just like, yeah, yeah I like the curvy thing better. But I like to find something cooler than that. But I just don't know what what that's gonna be yet. Do the <laughs> um. I have an idea. Do the um, I'll send you a picture. So Star Citizen's got a bunch of different armor and stuff, right? And there's this one helmet, uh, the Morning Star helmet, that could be really cool. Oh yeah. Uh, save it here. It'd take a lot though. I don't know. That might not be doable in Imperion. But even something kind of like that would be cool. Put it in Discord. No, you know it'd be it's totally cool if you built a mech, right? Mm -hmm. Like like this physical size, but in all like the uh, like SV blocks, so it was quarter scale of what it is now. The amount of detail you could actually get into one of these is pretty pretty yeah. gruesome. If you yeah, if you had it at that scale with the, with that block size, yeah, you could yeah. do all kinds of intricate little block work thingies. <laughs> right. I'll throw it in the uh, stream real quick, guys, so you can see what I'm talking about too. Here, that's the uh, that's the Morning Star helmet from uh, Star Citizen. So something like that. I mean, it looks, you know, it's got like this kind of like slopey nose in the center, and then it kind of goes back. I think some of it would be possible, but you know, you'd have to make it really big to get that much detail. But I mean, even if just kind of the general shape of it, hey. it might look cool. Oh. Hold that stream. Let me join it and turn off the audio so I can see what you're, you're talking about. Oh, okay. 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 Oh. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. God. I, yeah. I mean, yeah. here's here the thing, though. I mean, you only got like three block rows, maybe four, I guess, at max that you can mess with. I know. I mean, it's like, yeah. 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 It's hard. It's hard. Yeah, I know. It's hard. Hey, Dragon. What's up, man? Yeah, so I don't know, but yeah, if you look at um, if you just Google uh, Star Citizen helmets, you'll get some good, kind of cool examples, maybe. Joe, so I was actually kind of thinking like the Mandalorian helmet, and all that oh. uh, that, 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 that particular shape. But oh, I think I would... oh, now I'm upset I didn't do the Mandalorian. <laughs> Man, you had to say that now, right? <laughs> Let's whip it up, dude. What do we got? We got, we got some time in the stream. Let's let's build Mando. Oh, oh you, you want to you try a Mando helmet? Yeah, be, be my guest here. Here, let no, me the this. whole thing. It can't just be the helmet. It's gotta be the whole freaking thing. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> you want to build? You yeah. want to build the whole Mando Mandalorian dude yeah. with the cape? <laughs> yeah, two of us, dude. We can do that. We'll get crazy in here. He does amazing things with curtains and shit, dude. He'll make a cape. Easy. <laughs> dude, he'll make a swoopy, flowy cape super easy, dude. I can see him doing it. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. And as in, like, texturing and theme and stuff, um, I'm not sure yet. I uh, I thought about even, like, trying this in Scar or Human. I don't think MCRN. Definitely not Creel. <laughs> well... What do you if you or, do, or, 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 or go custom and just try to be like battle mech or something, you know, like like try to mimic something that you might see in a game mech somewhere. So it could be cool as Scar, but obviously you'd have to segment it so that you have the armor Scar, but like the uh, the the actual limbs not Scar. Kind of, you'd have to separate it. You know what I mean? Because if it was just solid Scar, it would look 
You know, you know what I'm trying to say to where it yeah, looks like it's yeah. got armor. Right, right. Beyond yeah, its true. actual exosuit or whatever. So it'd be tricky, but I mean, yeah, you could do it just as long as it still looked, you know, believable. I yep. yeah, that'd be cool, man. A little scar mech. That'd be, that'd be cool. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if when I think of scar though, if I think of this, I think I I don't know. I think scar yeah, is a little. Yeah. Scary. I'm thinking like predator or something, you know, like some. Yeah, or something, I know. Like I know. Scary I know. looking thing. I think this would be like best with like I don't know the humans or like I don't know maybe just go with a different color scheme completely yeah well have you uh, flown it yet uh no well I did early on but I haven't in a long time I I think it had the right parts in it though to make it work I don't have, it doesn't have any feel yeah it's within CPU and Stuff. Let's see it. Devices. Uh, Gen. Yeah, it's got a couple of generators and fuel tanks in it. Does have a pilot? Oh well. <laughs> Actually, it doesn't have a pilot seat right now. <laughs> ah. I, I, I blew it away. I, there used to be one in here, but um, yeah, I, I took it out when I was uh, redoing the head. And it, all this stuff is just temporary in there right now. I don't. It's gonna need a shield and stuff, so there's like gonna be virtually like no interior. You know, you walk in and you go up to the head, and there might be something down where you walk in here, but that's about it. And then how you get in here? <laughs> I, uh, I know. I, I, I mean, it, it almost needs like a, I mean, I, the mechs in the games they actually have like a, a cr uh, like ramps and stuff to get up into these things because they don't like walk up through the legs or anything like that. Right. Well, yeah, you could use uh, Crazy Z's little like airport ladder for the uh, Akua Force. Oh, I, I think up to I, it. I think it would have to be way bigger. <laughs> we'll tell him to make an XL version. He's in the chat, dude. Make an XL version. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, if he's in the chat and he heard that, yeah, I need uh, to get. Let's see. So CV blocks are four SV blocks. Let's see, let's see, the doorway is, okay, so, one, two, three, four, five, six. Jay, I gotta go mine something in this. I'm gonna go test it out real quick. Wrap would have to be 13 CV blocks tall. <laughs> oh, wow, yeah, no, okay. <laughs> we'll make a CV <laughs> version of it. <laughs> Blow that shit up. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah. I, it, it's a it, that that is a funky craft there. It's yeah. cool. It's it, it's it's really unique and and cool. But yeah, it is that is different. Yeah. It's different. Yeah, you'll see. I'm liking the new paint job though. Appreciate it. Oh no, no problem. Yeah, I, I mean, yeah. With mo more time, I would. I'd basically just yeah. I thought it had too much white on it. It was, it was like like yeah. too bright of white. But it's, yeah. it's it, right now the lighting in space is really sucking, so it's hard to see what it really looks like, like you know, on a planet or something. I mean, right? Yeah, yeah. I had just started like texturing it in the stream last night, and then okay. and then I went to the Mando, and then I was going back and forth between the two. Okay. And. I think at one point Neuro came in and was yelling at me because I didn't, I wasn't working on the Mac, and I'm like, I don't want to work on the Mac. I want to work on the Mandalorian thingy. And <laughs> so I just kept going back and forth with it. That's funny. Oh, nice. Then you go out and mine something. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just going over to the next planet over here. Not star, but just the next planet. Then I'm just gonna find something to mine. I just want to see how good it mines. All right. Actually, I don't even know if there's going to be anything here. But I think we've mined here. Probably. We hit everything close by, or at least I did. I mean, I've, I've jumped in on times when you weren't around, too, and I just, I didn't go far. I just looked, you know, tried to get one, one jump away and mine whatever I could. <laughs> right. It moves good, though. I, I don't seem to be, like, having any power issues here. 
I need uh No power issues. All right. Well, uh, uh, are you mining? I mean, are, not yet. Uh, not um, yet. I, I can't find okay. anything. You've killed everything already, bastard. And <laughs> mined everything well, in our star. So I mean, I mean, if you if you uh, actively run your drills and fly around three directions with like a shield charge, and you got any? Is that how you tested it with power? Yeah. Let me test here. So those mining drills suck a lot of power, big time. Yeah, so I get to 92, but going three directions, I'm at 92, so that's not bad. No, no, that's not bad at all. Now, I was actually thinking about going to the uh, uh, Charbury. And find find that little settlement over there. I was just gonna take the miner. <laughs> oh, for the water and stuff. Yeah, the water. Well, and it's got it's got two of those uh, tree harvesters there. And, Where is that? That's Charbury. Uh, Charbury. Yeah. Oh, Charibra. 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 Yeah. Chocobo. <laughs> yeah. You ever ridden a chocobo? No. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Are you talking video game Final Fantasy? Ah, look at you. Yeah. Uh, well, well, well. Not bad, <laughs> sir. Not bad. I have actually. Yeah, I think on. Uh, it was an early Final Fantasy two or three or something on the yeah. uh, on a Super Nintendo or Nintendo. Yeah. I forget. I forget. Yeah. Oh yeah. Which uh, which planet in Charber? Uh, I believe it was EXE or the EXKE one, the green one, the jungle. Where's the arrow? Oh, there you are. Look at you. Yeah. Wait, what did oh. you say? Which one? E uh, E X K E one, one okay. Yeah, the the uh, green planet. Oh, I do need to put a multi turret on this. That's the point. Easy enough. I mean, I could just change the turret on the top to be a multi turret. That wouldn't be a bad idea. Yeah. Now, oh man, did I not label where the, I don't know where the, the settlement is now though, but remember it, it was like really close to where you first fly at it when warping here. Yeah, we get in plan, we'll figure it out. Oh, I'm going to hit this Neo before we go and plan it there, just a test. All right. Yeah, dude, this thing moves really good actually. Like I'm kind of like. Digging this now. Nice, nice. nice. I mean, I made sure to space everything, and uh, you know, it's got two big tier three fuel tanks, and they're like encapsulated in the legs, and you know, I was really careful about chain. Like, there's no chain, and then I've got the blast doors in front of the drills in case I get into combat. I could tuck those away to where they're safe. Mm. And then once yeah, the, once the drills are off, they won't be targeted anyway. So you said you said you had t two of the big fuel tanks. Yeah, it might it might be a little light. It might be. Yeah. I, I I started with that, and I ended up with like I got I think four big ones and two. Uh, two when medium I say ones. when I say big, I mean like the big big ones, right? The big like four block ones. That's what you're talking yeah. about. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Yep. Yeah. I guess it says so, 27 minutes of drill time right now when I'm drilling, so. Yeah, well, that's the thing. Um, you know, if you're going to go out for a couple hours drilling. Oh. Oh, man. Am I too heavy to get off the ground? No. I just can't fly. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think it's relative. I think it's like, you know, I mean, you can just bring more fuel, if anything, right? So, I mean, yeah. Yeah. That's true. That's true. Yeah. I just, I, I yeah, it was like. 
I hate, you know, when you're out and about, and especially if you didn't grab any more fuel and like, you forget like me. Um, and then you're almost out of fuel and you're like, oh man, when I'm mining this, I got like eight minutes left and I, uh, I freak out. So yeah, I put a lot of, I put a lot of fuel on this thing. <laughs> a lot more than I probably normally would have. Oh, I only have four generators. I took out two generators. I forgot I did that because I had to make space for something else. I probably need to put two more generators back on this. Because, I'm, I mean, I'm yellowing. I'm not, like, spiking, but I'm yellowing when I'm moving and drilling. Oh, yeah. I'm going to, like, 80 to 90. Yeah. Yeah, maybe, maybe one more, like, uh, generator. Might not need two, just single. Yeah. What am I doing? Yeah, it looks do good though. I'm digging it. Oh, very cool. Oh, I'm an idiot too. I didn't bring like any replacement fuel for all these water generators. <laughs> Take it out of your your um miner. Out of the field oh. tank. Just grab, you know. I mean how many do you need, right? So just count how many you actually need and then remove that amount from your field tank. Well, I mean what we got about thirty machines down here? Thirty? <laughs> Jesus. Well, and yeah, and each of them take like eight. Drills are targeted when they're off. You sure? Is that a new thing? I don't know. It needs to be the case. Let's see what happens. Drill pop. Da 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 da. I can I can hear you. Okay. Spamming the shit out of something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was. I was. Nice. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Yeah, you put up a nice little. There's a row of blocks out here. Oh, right? That's when I was obsessed about the little walkway for a minute there, and then I got bored. Oh, yeah, yeah. I remember that. Good times. <laughs> oh, man. I've been to have... Oh, I probably parked too far away, so I'm going to be out of Wi-Fi range, so I won't have to pick up anything. Damn it! <laughs> oh, Kung Pao's arrived. Yeah, I'll, I'll heat it up. We're done here. That's the beauty of Chinese food. You can just throw that shit in a wok and reheat it. It's freaking awesome. What's all this? Oh, I got fuel laying on the ground. God darn it. <laughs> 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 I uh, hope they, I hope they fix that, man. They need to make these these things like part of the logistics. Yeah. It's really annoying how like personal constructors and all these little like weird things are not part of the logistics system. Well, I hate this. I practically got to like fly onto the water so I can like collect the stuff from the, the harvesters and it's like, ah. yeah. Uh, no. So connect to your uh, thing. And, yeah. And then drag yeah, it to yeah, the belt. I, well, I, I had it too far away. I oh, parked okay, uh, okay. a little too far away. So that's basically it. And oh, actually, I got a lot of weight on this. Oh, man. I'm almost. Oh, geez. My miner's like completely full. <laughs> nice. You could put it in mine here. Okay. Okay. All right. Let's, Are you uh, here? I'll put I'll put all your stuff in mine, and then it'll be empty. I don't know. All right. Yeah, See, now, now it's like I did work. Hey. hey. Oh. And right, now you're empty. <laughs> oh. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, you grabbed. Okay. Bay two. All right. All this so I can pick up the stuff from the uh. <laughs> oh definitely say we're gonna be stocked quite well though I think yeah yeah uh. looks like this tree cutter saw a little action eh yeah yeah I did I did I was uh I had some uh drone encounters with uh I, I, uh, it, it, it lived though, and it still cuts trees, and it's still got intact inventory. I think a couple boxes light though. 
<laughs> but the other one's brand new. Holy crap. Dude, we, we've got enough oxygen to breathe forever. <laughs> forever. forever. I, 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 I don't know, man. Like 40, 50 years from now, we'll still be breathing from oxygen on this one run. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. How much water? A lot? Uh, I haven't even got there yet. I'm still trying to load up all the oxygen. <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah, we should have a lot of water. So, I mean, there's a lot of... I don't know how much fuel you put in all these things, but, I mean, I'm picking up, like, 1,600 air well, I things. Put, per... I put, like, the hydro cells in there, I think, so it'd probably last it a long ass It's like 855 water per water generator, and there's, like, what, 12 or something of them? So, yeah, gravity once you put it in the cell... Gravity sucks on this planet, right? Uh, gravity? Yeah, I don't know. I, didn't, I never looked. Not great. Oh, another chicken nuggy. Hmm. Um, of those, uh, water containers, I got 7,044 of them. Wow. Oh, so I guess it pays to, like, do this shit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, same thing kind of with auto mining, too, uh, to be oh, honest. Oh, <laughs> they, they were saying this didn't work. This, uh, putting them next to each other thing. I already un emptied them, but only two of them were, uh, had anything well, in them. Because the other ones weren't working, I guess. Oh well, uh, all the other ones over here. I I, I scooped all of that stuff up down that way. Cool. I'm too hot. I'm too hot. Maybe the thrusters next year or something. I think it's just it's 42 degrees, and with those EVA things I got um. going on, I'm just curious if this thing fired any rounds or not. I guess I'm not hot anymore. Okay. Maybe it was a thruster. Let's see if I just disconnect. Going there. Yeah. Wow. So you uh, you emptied that uh, that cargo, right? And yeah. you grab and you grab the the loot out of the, the those two or those four over there. Yep. Um, on the uh, on the Plutus with it's got 298k worth of oxygen and water so that was one one scoop like almost almost a full container extension full of this stuff <laughs> uh, not bad no so uh yeah how much how many cargo systems do you have on your uh two on your ship there? two yeah go to the ammo one Oh uh, yeah, you want me to unload some of that or? Uh, no, that's fine. I, I, I can keep it on that, and we'll, we'll distribute it when we get back. Um, I was thinking about uh, grabbing one of the tree things, and is that what you're doing? doing? Yeah. Oh, okay. Right over the hill, though, there's there there was drones hanging out, and that's how I took the damage that I did. You know, you could kill a drone with harvesters, right? Uh, uh right. Uh, drone with harvesters? Yeah. No, if you can get up there, you can kill it. You want to <laughs> see? Yeah, I'll show you. Hold on. No, no, don't, don't, don't. Are you watching the stream? Hold on. 
No, I'm not. I'm not seeing it right now. But um, oh, there's a rocket drone close to me too. Oh, you're you're just gonna blow you blow up your your tree cutter back. <laughs> gonna, that's really all that's gonna happen. <laughs> I, I, I don't. Just... I don't like your lack of can-do attitude, sir. <laughs> oh God! I don't even know how long it would take to harvest a drone if you could like jump in the air and like. It might smack be instant. It. I don't know. We're gonna do it for science. <laughs> Target acquired. Did you do it? Yeah, dude. What? Oh man! Get on the ground, sir. Yeah, dude. <laughs> you, you actually, you actually, you, you charged the drone with. Oh. You pulled it off. Oh my god! I destroyed that thing with the harvesters, dude. That was epic. <laughs> Oh, awesome. I didn't know you could do that. I figured it would just leave. Dude, to I didn't know either. There. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So, the, the, so you you like how did you corner it? I mean, was it on the ground already or something or It was well, it was up on this hill and um, you know, I managed to get a little bit of altitude and Dude, that was and it was almost instant. It was only like two or three hits on it. Really? <laughs> oh my god, that was hilarious. Dude, do you know what this means, right? <laughs> no, 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 you know what this means, right? Oh man, you, you, you could, uh, yeah, you could jump jump with HV tanks and take out drones with harvesters. Dude, the Scarab <laughs> is a freaking combat vet now. This thing's seen action, dude. <laughs> what? Oh my god. Dude, clip that. Did somebody clip that? Yeah, I don't think I clipped that in time. Uh, Dude. That's crazy. I, yeah, I, I'm impressed, man. I, uh, oh. I, 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 I certainly want to put odds on it. <laughs> oh, my God. Dude, Dubon, if you're here, man, I hope that makes a podcast. That was epic. Epic. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh my god, I can't believe that happened, dude. I was fully expecting to lose this thing. <laughs> that was awesome, dude. I, I was fully expecting you to lose it if you... <laughs> For science. For science. Yep. Well, so it sounds like, you know, I tried to run away, and I and I took a few hits, and that's that's how mine's all, like, smashed up and everything. And it, 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 you went right after it, like like the Predator. And <laughs> yeah, it, just... it didn't even know what to do. It didn't even shoot a rocket. It was like, wait, what is this thing doing? Like, I don't get it. <laughs> what? Am I supposed to be turned on? And then it just died. It just <laughs> died. <dude. laughs> oh, that's cool. That's cool. I mean, I've harvested, um, you know, uh, that uh, talent and stuff before, but you know. <laughs> Dude, imagine a really yeah, yeah, yeah. agile <laughs> HV that has like 20 harvesters. It would be devastating to ground troops for a little bit, but you know, every time I try to get a little too crazy with it, the, the harvesters are really weak. If you don't have a shield up, there, I mean, they ping ping and, and the harvesters die. Yeah. My tree! Oh! Oh! oh, oh. <laughs> I actually am almost full up already. So that rocket drone over that way, is that the same one you took down? Yeah, it's not moving. Yep. Okay. Unconventional warfare, man. That's what we're about here at the Anvil. <laughs> Survival tools and harvesters. That's all you need. Yeah. Well. Might have to sharpen these blades on this thing after that, man. 
That's awesome. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> well, I, I I know there's a lot more drones around, man. You could take out the whole army of them <laughs> if you want. Oh yeah. Oh no, that's still a dead one. To be honest, though, like like if, if um, never had started like a new playthrough, I think one of the first things I'd want to acquire in yeah. game and it's cheap is this thing. <laughs> oh yeah, totally, dude. <laughs> Thanks, Uncle Sam. I appreciate that, man. It's clipped. It's there in the comments, guys. That's freaking awesome. Yes, dude. If we could, oh, that could work, man. I don't think they What's would. That? Okay, so what they're saying is take a CV, right? And yeah. and basically glide and turn it off, and then stop above a dreadnought. And then what I'll do is I'll um, I'll get into the H into the scarab, right? And then. <laughs> <laughs> and then, no, 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 it gets better. I'll get into the scarab, and then you'll turn the scarab to private so it undocks without me having to turn it on. And I'll fall down onto the dreadnought, and then I'll turn that bitch on, and I'll just eat it for lunch, dude. That thing will die in like a matter of minutes. <laughs> Can you imagine? Oh, yeah. Yeah, there was a... Uh... There was a James Bond movie where they had like some uh, like torpedo drill that like went and drilled out a ship. I thought that was a pretty slick idea. <laughs> mm. So it's the same idea. It's like you're, yeah. you're a torpedo drill, and and yeah, we, we we launch you, and and you know, and you fly in with the drills, and you drill right through the hull of the ship, and you you just you just take it out. That's it. Yeah, take that, General <laughs> Grievous. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, dude, you take out one drone hey. with the harvester, and now you want to take on a dreadnought? <laughs> <laughs> That's the next logical step. I mean, you know, yeah. we gotta we gotta <laughs> test the limits here. We haven't reached the limit yet. Apparently, progression. Progression, yes. Pro yeah, pro yeah, progression. Yeah. Nail, doc. <laughs> What's up, guys? Oh, not much. <laughs> Yeah, I tuned in right whenever I saw x -Cal going, yeah, let's try this for science. I was like, oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know God. what he's trying for science, but this is not going to be good. Oh, man. We did it, guys. That was epic. I can't believe that worked. I didn't think that would work, to be honest. I, I didn't think it would work either. I I just, yeah. Like, it wouldn't work on a normal build with blocks, but the fact that it worked on a drone, you know, because a drone is essentially like any other bad guy, right? And, like, it's, yeah, so. Yeah. That's cool. So, yeah, they, these do work on bad guys. In fact, you know, kind of wonder how it would be, you know, like with those, um, I, 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 what did you call yours again? Like lockpick? Is that what you yeah. called it? Like that, that infiltration um, yeah, thing? Lock you may, 
Yeah, if you had a well, you know what the harvesters are so big you couldn't fit through the hallways. But I was gonna say, yeah, if you could if you could run down the hallways harvesting all the bad guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's five blocks. It's big. They should have yeah, a, they should have a one block harvester. Oh, that'd be cool. <laughs> Micro harvester. Little azimuth harvester. Yeah. Yeah, too bad you can't turn it sideways or or well not sideways but perpendicular to the way that you want to fly yeah that would work great like long way yeah uh... yeah all right i'm tired of cutting trees already that was fun you do two two loads yeah yeah sort yeah. of kind of so now we're gonna yeah, test well. can i get into this thing on planet because i didn't i didn't put any kind of a i might need to put a ladder or something to be honest I was thinking oh. I could just like kind of jump up like you would like a monster truck or something, you know? Oh yeah, you might, you might. Yeah, I didn't calculate how high this is. I thought the the ass of it was a little lower here. Chat saying you could put it vertically on the uh, block pick. But I think sure. it would be too tall then. Yeah. Yeah, I wouldn't be able to get through a one block. How much more room you got in there? I don't know. I think I got some more room there. In the ammo right. there. Yeah, I'll dump more wood in there. Not bad. Got it? Yep. Throw pup, my. <laughs> Yeah, I just need to work on texturing it more. I think it looks pretty cool, actually. I'm okay with it. Like, the stance of it looks okay enough to where it's like... Yeah, definitely. It doesn't definitely. look totally weird. Well, that was good. I mean, you know, I was sitting back at the base. I was like, man, it's like we got to do something, man. We're not really... We're just crafting... And the last thing I thought I was gonna do is kill a drone with the scarab, but <laughs> I yeah I would not have uh, predicted that one. <laughs> you know, I mean, there you go. Wonder if it works in space. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but HVs only go. Two miles per hour in space, unfortunately. Uh, that's true. That's true. I don't know, you know, there was a time when they didn't move at all in space. So two miles an hour is better than nothing, I guess. <laughs> no, they always move. They just didn't move in all directions. They only moved in oh. two-dimensional plane. Yeah. The scarab oh, is not on the workshop yet, but it's gonna be, right? When are you really? Hey, I I don't know. Um, sometime. <laughs> but it is I, available on the uh, Discord. Jay Randall released it, it, it in yeah. the Reforged Workshop content. I think I I, I did, and the, and the whole reason why I just I, I don't like to release more than one thing a week. So and I got like this backlog of things to release. So that's why I haven't really. That's why I, I don't know when I'm going to release it yet. <laughs> yeah, so you can grab it now. Check it out. It's there for the Anvil. It's a little workhorse, man. So that's cool, man. The fact that, I mean, God, the Scarab has taken down a drone. The coffee grinder took a dreadnought out. I mean, what? <laughs> Holy crap, dude. Like, our, our tree cutter builds are, like, OP as hell, dude. <laughs> wow.
They are. They are very OP. Really inexpensive too, like 10 minute build time. <laughs> <laughs> right? That's all you need though, I mean, you know, even even that, what, what was that, that infected super carrier or whatever we were, uh, you know, that uh, your challenge stream was on? Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, Light dude, work. all all we needed was a couple scarabs and uh, a coffee grinder and uh you know yep can do attitude can't forget that one that yep, listen, yep. that's oh, yeah. it that's 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 it that's all you need i can't think of anything else end game tree cutter <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yep one locks at one level five or something two three <laughs> Yep, you don't need anything more. All <laughs> oh, y'all going around with your big old CVs, just wasting energy. Yeah, yeah, they they they, they are energy hogs. That's for sure. <laughs> there we go with my incredibly awesome parking job again. <laughs> nice, dude. Okay, here's what I want. Right, maybe a feature, a block, or something you can add. Can you imagine? Like, you know, you build a hangar or something like that or a docking port on your ship, right? And then you give it a zone. Like, you define a zone just like you were for a motion sensor, right? right. So you give it the, the zone, and then any craft that enters that zone that that you have the, uh, the a docking thing, like, enabled um, will automatically, like, know how to, like, oh. yeah, dock itself, fly right through the hangar door and, like, park or something or automatic docking. Wouldn't that be cool? <laughs> it would. Yeah. As Carly says, maybe you should build a premium harvester CV. <laughs> a premium hard... <laughs> yep. <laughs> uh, that could be interesting. Oh, man. I got to try to move some of this stuff to the ship. All right, so the furnaces are cooking all that stuff that was in your thing that's in mine. So that's going to cook all that down, put in the output. Um, I'm going to okay. set fuel to make. Okay. Oh, I got a little bit of room in here again. And then I'll set, um, set some flack to make with the trees. How are you oh. in artillery? You need artillery? Oh, I didn't. I have not started even making artillery yet. In fact, I want to make some more rockets too. But yeah, I'll uh, I'll start up a lot of stuff here. Um. Okay. So on the whetstone, uh, did you have a spot for like water and air and that kind just, of stuff just in there? When you say, oh yeah, well, put it all in the uh, input if you can. If you can't fit it, well, hold on. Let me let me empty a lot of the yeah. input here. Yeah, input's really full yeah, right now. Yeah, let me, let me empty the input. All right, here, I'll get out of it. Go ahead and put the water in there. I need to make a separate um, systems for. Oh, dude, I can I can't even fit close to hardly any of the water in there. We'll put the rest of it in like overflow, and then put it in like the. Uh, there's like f six. Yeah, there is. Systems, yeah. So, yeah, put them in there. And I'll just I'll be doing that over. I'll I'll come back in tonight and I'll organize it a little better. So the drill pup mutt doing it, doing its thing. Scarab doing its thing. Getting ready for our epic assault on Legacy Homeworld. Just a couple of uh, wayward marauders. <laughs> yeah, dude, that's awesome. Oh. Uh. 
Dude, yeah, you know, all those little, uh, you know, I, I don't even want to mine ice asteroids anymore. That's far more effective getting the water this way. <laughs> yeah, no, it is. Yeah, I think ice asteroids I mean, are okay yeah. in a clutch, but. Yeah, yeah. They're a little disappointed on how much you get, uh, how much food you can make from it. Yeah, for sure. Oh, yeah, wow. I've been building hydrogen extractors. I like those a lot. Yeah, did we have any of those? I... Oh, you had some. I couldn't build any because I didn't. I didn't bring any when I went there. That's that's right. I remember now what happened. How oh, how it went down. <laughs> so there's five Anvil streamers streaming right now. <laughs> oh wow! We're we're, we're gonna raid. We're, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna bust a raid here, guys. Everybody jump in the raid. That's gonna be it for us. Thank you, Jay Randall. That was awesome, dude. That was a lot of fun. I was, I was. Thanks, everybody, for um, the epic hype train. That was freaking legendary. El Donk, thanks for popping in, bro. Appreciate it. No worries. No worries. You guys, uh, you guys have a great one, and I will uh, catch you guys likely tomorrow, probably for, like, a chill stream or a build series or, or something to that effect. For now, let's pop into JTKE Gaming and give them some, uh, some, uh, some hype. Catch you guys later. See ya, everybody.